Shohei, I'm going to try this in Japanese. How excited are you for this today? Doke da ke? Waku waku shite masu ka? Sugoku waku waku shimasu. Very, very excited. Very, very excited. You're the favorite. How was that BP home run? It was so impressive, and everyone is saying they're here to watch the Shohei Otani show. Honestly, I just want to kick back and enjoy the shows. A lot of great hitters. I want to watch their home runs and just have fun. Okay. Have a great time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Barley and Buster. It has been a while, 735 days since the polar bear roared from behind to beat Vlad Guerrero in a memorable derby. He's back, so are the fans, and they are fired up. But nobody loves baseball more than legendary actor, comedian, great guy, Billy Crystal. When I was 11 years old, there was a television show called Home Run Derby. And that's the first time I saw the greats trying to hit home runs in an empty ballpark in Los Angeles. Man, how it has changed. Tonight, the stakes are higher. The crowd will be enormous. But one thing has never changed. The magic of the home run. Oh, they can be beautiful. They can be majestic. They can be exhilarating. They can be heartbreaking. I still can't look at that, but they're always magic. And that's what tonight is all about. A night to celebrate the long ball, the dinger, clearing the fences, going yard. Holy cow, that one's out of here. How about that? See ya. It's a night when everybody, the ball players and all of us, well, we get to be kids again. And this derby is really special. We've been cooped up for so long. What could be better than watching a few hundred baseballs launch into orbit to show we're finally rounding the bases ourselves and heading for home? That's the power of baseball and the home run. Every one of them takes us along for the ride. So my friends, batter up and welcome to the Home Run Derby. Baseball fans, welcome to Denver, Colorado and the 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby. We are just moments away from getting this show started, providing the soundtrack for the night. Give it up for DJ Irie. Denver, are you ready? And now it's time to meet the hitters in the 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby. Here we go. In our first matchup, the 16, who has made an inspiring comeback this season following a courageous battle with cancer in 2020. With 16 home runs at the All-Star break from the Baltimore Orioles, Trey Mancini. And his opponent, the three seed, making his first all-star appearance and leading the Oakland A's with 23 home runs and a 567 slugging percentage. Please welcome Matt Olsen. Up Denver, let's hear it. The seven C, the hometown slugger, making a run to be the first Rockies player to win the home run derby with 11 home runs this season. Please welcome from your Colorado Rockies, Trevor Story. His opponent. The two seed with 24 home runs this season, including a 10 game stretch where he slugged 10 home runs from the Texas Rangers, Joey Gallo. Good luck, bro. 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 Good luck
In our next matchup, the five seed and the 2019 Home Run Derby reigning champion with 17 home runs heading into the All-Star break from the New York Mets, Pete Alonso. And his opponent, the four seed, making his first home run derby appearance with 21 home runs from the Kansas City Royals, the 2015 World Series MVP, Salvador Perez. And our last matchup, making his first all-star appearance at 22 years old with 11 home runs from the Washington Nationals, Juan Soto. And for the one seed, the first Japanese-born player and first pitcher to participate in the Home Run Derby, leading Major League Baseball with 33 home runs from the Los Angeles Angels, Shohei Otani. Good luck, man. Let's hear it for these eight sluggers in the 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please rise and remove your caps for our national anthem to showcase the amazing natural beauty of Colorado and the Rocky Mountain region Tonight's anthem was performed from Denver's iconic Red Rocks Amphitheater by three-time Grammy Award nominees, the Avid Brothers. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red Bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave? Here they come. And there they go. Got to get out of the way of the baseballs. They're going to be flying out of this ballpark. And that TV show Billy Crystal used to watch when he was a kid with a home run derby, number 44, Hank Aaron, won six of those. And that's why all these guys are wearing 44 tonight. Our first two matchups are coming up. Trey Mancini takes on the A's, Matt Olson. And after that, the hometown kid, Trevor Story, against the Ranger who everyone wanted to see in this. That's Joey Gallo. The 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby is ready to explode. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Shohei Otani. What can't he do? Let's take a ride with another Shohei Hover. 
and this has been a long time in the making. Decades. Dynasties. It's good! This time bears witness. Blocked by James! This time echoes in eternity. This time doesn't care if you're great. It cares if you're the greatest. He scores! If you want to be a part of it, now is your time. Because all time is at stake. Suns Bucks, Wednesday on ABC. Once upon a time, there was a city that had a dream. There was something larger than life. Without the 86 Mets, Carter, Hernandez, Gooden, Strawberry. We was cocky. We had swagger. We had a group of guys that loved the fight. We're a team that wasn't going to get stepped on anymore. It was just another day in the life of the 86 Mets. Let's go! I've always been inspired by possibility, taking elements that exist and putting them together to create something new. Rooms to Go understands the power of this. With Rooms to Go, you can easily make the most of every space. Whether you want a place to share or somewhere just for you, the incredible styles, colors, fabrics means you can always find the perfect something. And the best part, you can do it all within budget, whether you shop online or at a store near you. Anything's possible at Rooms to Go. Smoothies are back. Plus, try our barbecue shrimp quesadilla and tropical smoothie cafe. The 2021 Home Run Derby is brought to you by T Mobile. T Mobile is going to bat for Little League kids. For every home run hit during bonus time, they're donating 10 grand to the T Mobile Little League Call Up Grant, up to $500,000. Coors Field, 50,000 strong and 5,200 feet above sea level. They're used to seeing balls fly in this ballpark. It's the most homer-friendly yard that we see. But tonight, they'll see balls going places they've never seen before. Well, the Coors Field effect is not a myth. Let's check the numbers. Coors Field has the longest average home run distance in the StatCast era, more than nine feet longer than second place Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City. Let's go further. StatCast overall added distance variable takes into account elevation. Coors is over 5,000 feet above sea level. Average temperature 69 degrees in Denver, a lot warmer during the Derby. And that's in an open air ballpark. The average homer at Coors goes almost 19 feet longer. And if you just use the elevation factor, the added distance is 23.6 feet. That's 20 feet longer than second place Chase Field. The 2019 Derby had three homers over 475 feet. If that Derby were held in Denver, we'd have seen 47 of those. 47. Yeah, baby, and Eddie's out of the humidor and breaking down Shohei Otani. This guy's special, and the problem that the rest of the competitors are going to have against Shohei Otani is that he hits the ball hard, consistently, and far. Right there, you saw the six of the 463-foot home run in Seattle, and he did it in batting practice earlier this afternoon. And he was just getting started. Not loose yet, Shohei Otani. Tonight, this could be really special, Carl. Really special. You have to refer to some of the signs. There's a course silver bullet bar sign up there on the facade where the standing room folks are. That was a 500 foot home run and that was sort of getting used to what we're doing here. Right field in play. Over right field in play. Out of the yard in left field in play as well. Yeah, this is going to be a ridiculous show and as 
many have already put it, Shohei Otani has stupid pop, and that's exactly what it is. Has, I've never seen a ball be hit that far in batting practice. When I played here pre humidor, this is going to be special. All right, so let's take a look at where Shohei Otani has hit his 33 home runs. He has way more home runs in the first half of the season than everybody else. Let's check out the heat map. And again, this is going to be the guy that's pitching to him. Yeah, and this is righties and lefties coming at him. And again, he is does not discriminate at all where he wants it. He wants it right down the middle, loves the pitch down and in. And look how he <laughs> just makes sure that fans tonight, just like he has during the regular season, he will hit it. He'll pull it, he'll hit it the other way. Shohei Otani is about to put on the show, and this is why a lot of guys have picked him as the favorite. All right, so take a look at our bracket tonight, and we will go over the rules in just a bit. But Tony and Soto, the one versus eight, Salvador Perez, Alonso, the left side of the bracket, and the right side, Gallo against Story, Olsen, and Trey Mancini. And Story, Mancini is. Operation Bus. This week, Buster has a chance to talk to real star. What does it mean for you to get this invite this year, given everything that's going on for you? It's really special. Uh, I was a little surprised at first uh, when I got the invite, but at the same time, it was something that I no doubt wanted to do. It's a, an event that I watched every year growing up. It was one of my favorite things of the year. I was always at the beach with my family watching the Home Run Derby and All-Star Game every year. So um, there is no doubt about it that I wanted to do this. And, and, you know, for the bigger picture, I wanted to do it to inspire people to let you know that, um, you know, even a year after getting diagnosed with cancer and going through treatment, you can go on to live a normal life and, and do great things. So, um, you know, I hope to inspire some people watching this week. Well, he's done that already. And as he gets set to step in, we just want to show you guys the rules at home. So it's now a... Single elimination. Batter with the most goes to the next round. Two minutes in the final round. 45 seconds timeout. You get three minutes in the first round. All batters 30 seconds at the end of each. Round. Technically, three minutes and four seconds. You add 34 by hitting a 170 feet or more, which would make your round four minutes. One set of bats in the top maker, no clock stoppage. And in order to qualify for those extra 30 seconds, you've got to hit that ball 475 during the first three minutes. So Mancini will step in, 29 years old, diagnosed in March of 2000, just as COVID-19 was creating lockdowns, and the first one he won't swing at. Six months of chemo treatment at Johns Hopkins University and back for the Orioles, and now in a home run derby, and we got our first home run of this 2021 Team Mobile home run derby. And don't be surprised if you see Trey Mancini hit a lot of baseballs straight away center, right center. He'll pull them up as well. But 60% of his home runs this year have been to straight away center. Field. He's got two, and you saw that first pitch and the one that left. The next pitch came in before it landed. They are now going to be able to do that. You don't have to wait for the ball to land. That was always a bit of a contentious area. And we're hoping that his buddy who was at Notre Dame when he was there and they together won a home run derby a Big East home run derby Chuck Rostano one of the assistant coaches there pitching batting practice and he just calls timeout there two minutes 07 expired time called we'll take a quick timeout we're all with you Troy take a timeout Trek Depot, we know home means everything. We're at the ballpark across the nation and just down the street. Loan Depot, home purchase, home refinance, and the official mortgage provider of Major League Baseball. Gillette Pro Glide, five blades and a pivoting flex ball designed to get virtually every hair on the first stroke. So you're ready for the day with a fresh face for a fresh start. For a limited time, get a fifth cartridge free. As Trey gets set, a reminder, Thursday, Red Sox-Yankees start a four-game set. The only game on Thursday, 7 Eastern ESPN, and on Sunday night baseball, the series finale. Baseball tonight, Sunday night countdown starts at 6. Mancini, two homers, two minutes. You think the air's having something to do with this? Absolutely. It's 88 degrees as soon as this contest started. And just with the excitement, the adrenaline comes in. I'm interested to see what happens when there's a minute left in his at-bat. He goes the other way, and that's a big fly to right field. And uh, after that timeout, Mancini's starting to tack on some home runs. 
Here you go. That one's hammered. Buster, the home run paid off. He's got his bonus. He's hit one four seventy five and still ninety seconds left. And he's got his man on the mound throwing to him, the former pitching coach from Notre Dame, who told me that when Mancini called him, he was in the airport in Atlanta on a recruiting trip. And of course, he initially worried that this might be a call related to Mancini's cancer. But now Mancini asked him if he would pitch to him. Ristano has been practicing. He is the first time Charlie's thrown to him since 2013. Well, he's found the happy zone. Mancini is locked in right now. The number to 10, make it 11 as he goes dead central. Okay, now we're getting to that step, to that stage. One minute left. Are the legs going to be there? He's rolling right now. Now here's a high fly to left, and that one is gone. The next one in the air, but it's a line out. 14 home runs for Mancini. Make it 15, and watch out scoreboard. He's rolling right now, 37 seconds left. But you're seeing him now waver a little bit with the balance. See him fall off a little bit backwards. He's fatigued, no doubt about it. Center field incoming from Mancini. <laughs> Into the trees, yeah, you can see balance is a little off. His manager, Brandon Hyde, gave him Sunday off from a start. Then he called him in late. What does he do? Pinch hit two run home run. Said, through text, if you need me, I'm good. He's real good right now, and the ball is flying at cores. Last one, that's the buzzer. Hi, Bob. Ah. Cedric Mullen standing to our left saying, count that one, too. Count that one, too. <laughs> and they will. Look out, Matt Olson. That's 18. 19 they give him to start for Trey Mancini. Oh what a boy, was that timeout well timed? It was a great timeout that he had early on. 207 left on the clock. Balanced right here. Gets the bat head out. That's the trick here. You have to hit it out in front. It's that leg kick. Gets the loft under it. And when he got on a roll, he continued to stay out there. Mancini doing a great job. And you're talking about a recruiting trip. He was in Atlanta. This right here is a heck of a recruiting trip. If I'm a hitter, I want that man throwing batting practice to me while I'm in college. There's Matt Olson. So he's bought himself an extra minute. So Mancini with an awfully impressive performance. And he'll get back in there. Some background on Trey. He grew up in Lakeland, Florida, a neighbor of Matty Diaz, who, of course, is a major league player. He played tennis and baseball when he grew up, went to Notre Dame, killed it his freshman year. Junior year, he had 389, slugged 600. Orioles took him in the eighth round. His dad, uh, Tony's a doctor. When Trey signed up to play baseball as a little boy, dad's figured, well, he's going to be a scientist or a doctor like me. Little did he know he'd become a terrific major league player. And Trey also doesn't like the sight of blood. So he said, early on, I ain't going to be a doctor. That, that field's not for me. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. But what a start here. 19 home runs and a bonus time of a minute. His nickname at Notre Dame when he was with Ristano was Boom Boom. And it became Boomer. And right out of the gate, he lofts one to left field. And Guardo calls it gone, and he's right. He is doing a wonderful job of catching everything out in front. That one might not leave the ball, a ballpark. But he needs to continue to throw the pitches down and in right now. And Trey's absolutely just crushing them. Give the fans at right field something to play with as well. 30 seconds to go. Ooh. And that is hammered. What a first round for Trey Mancini. So if you're ever walking through the supermarket aisle and you look and you see the Mancini peppers, his great grandfather started the Mancini Pepper Company. Well, that's exactly what he's doing right now. He's peppering some baseballs into. You read my mind. That's exactly where I was going. Take a break, Trey. Boy, Matt Olson, the bar is raised. What a start to this 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby. A cancer survivor and 23 out of the gate. Drop 
He's got his teammate over there, Vlad Guerrero, of course, who put on quite a show in 2019, losing the final to Alonzo. And a lot of great respect for what he did. Hey, tonight only baseball fans can play in a free home run derby pool on DraftKings for a shot of $25,000. Every time a DraftKings Sportsbook target is hit during the derby, DraftKings will give away a free trip for two to the World Series. Download the DraftKings app, sign up with the promo code HOMER, H-O-M-E-R. Play free for a shot of $25,000 and a trip to the World Series. Eddie, we're off and running. We're off and running. I, I just can't forget the opening week series that the Baltimore Orioles had in Boston. And Alex Cora said, that right there is a comeback player of the year, hands down. Forget about the rest. And a lot of respect to Eduardo Rodriguez and everyone else. Well, Matt Olson can spray it a little bit. He's going to try to pull most of his balls. And there are certainly signs out there that, that uh, Matt Olson can drill. Matt Olson comes into this season with a little chip on his shoulder. Did not have a very good 2020. Made some swing adjustments, which you can talk about. And all of a sudden, got himself locked back in. And he is the Matt that is leading the way for the A's. It's not his third base buddy, Chapman, but it's Olsen over at first. And if he gets on a roll, this could be special. By the way, how about that bat he is using right now? The number that he's got to get to is 24. The average exit velocity for Mancini, 104. Average distance, 447 feet, number one for Matt Olson. That's what the second to stay fair. It is literally hugging the line and no, missed by a hair. That number 24 that he's shooting for is his batting practice pitcher throws one two inside. That's better, but he wants to keep that fair. The most home runs by an Orioles player ever in a whole home run derby. Mancini now holds that record. Ooh, that one's a home run. Line shot that crawls over that wall. As Eddie has pointed out during our Sports Center and Baseball Tonight shows, that right field wall wasn't there. It was a lot shorter. You'll see left field and center field a little easier to hit a home run, but you're hitting it the distance that Olsen's hitting it. You don't have to worry. And here comes a massive one. Whoa, third deck. Yeah, and he's starting to get on a roll. And when you start getting on a roll like this, forget about asking for timeout. This one could be affected by that wall. Uh-uh, but -uh, right over. He's on a roll. Oh, my. Third deck, maybe higher. Third deck. OK, he's leaning back. This is just around the time that he just, oh, never mind. Nope. Pause that. Last one and longest one, 472. There's the liner. He's got minute 18 to go. I think he should ask for timeout. Yeah, and he did. So does he have it in him? He needs 14 to tie. Timeout. Robert Dubois. He's in prison for putting Superman in the ICU. I'm not joining your suicide squad. We'll see. It's okay, I'm not okay. Let's meet your team. Mm -hmm. I need to feel the raindrops on. on HBO Max, August 6th, we did our. All right. As we welcome you back, some of the images that you can see over on ESPN2 as well, the StatCast edition. You see Matt Olson and what he's done. His longest home run's gone 472 feet. That hardest hit ball, 110. Certainly something to keep an eye on. Those that have participated in this before and had the hardest hit balls, they've all, the leader in that category, has made it into the finals. So this is now a look into the ESPN2 StatCast program. Are you comfortable? Because you did that for a couple of years. Are you OK sitting out here? I am very OK sitting out here. <laughs> I mean, you get to see the player up close, and you can hear it right out of the bat in the reaction of the player. Love to see the back foot of the player to see if they have a lot of, a lot of stamina left. He needs to get on a roll here. He's got 40 seconds left. He's got his bonus. That last one traveled 495 feet. So we now have the longest home run, nearly 500 feet. 
but he's still only halfway there. He's got at least another minute and a half, and that one is pounded high and gone. And the next one's already exiting stage right. He needs to get to 15 before the 30-second extra time to at least have a chance. There it is right there. Anything else besides that? There we go. Yeah, he's there, and we are down to four seconds. The 27-year-old rips another one. And the buzzer beater uh -uh. is fouled. He needs seven. He'll have a minute to match Mancini. Woo! The balls are doing exactly what they thought we would do. They are flying out of this ballpark. Yeah. We're going, huh? 60 yeah. seconds? 30 or 60. I got 50, right? He 50. hit two home on Sunday. His teammate Chris Bassett said, Ole's really good. But I'll be honest, I saw Gallo's batting practice. We got to get lucky. Off to a really good start. No, no, that's no, that's fine. Too many liners. Thanks, man. Carl, I just talked to Trey Mancini, and he admitted. After that first minute when he had just two home runs, he was like, oh, my God, I got to represent here. He picked it up. He talked about how much fun it is. Yeah. He's already representing. I mean, just think of what he stands for, his recovery from that stage three colon cancer. He's representing in a big way already. So here we go with the clock now at a minute and counting, and Olsen needs seven. Of course he's going to have a lot of fun. 23 home runs in the first round. Oh, my, right here. That's, that's going to be 18. That'll be 19. Uh -uh. Remember, not a cumulative, so as soon as he gets to 25, that will end it and he will win if he gets there. He's got 30 seconds and he still needs four. That one's going to stay fair if it's got the distance and it does. Oh my. Oh. Upper deck. Two to tie. Ground ball. 15 seconds. That'll, that's not going to do it. That's, that's not, not going to do it. Oh, yes, that will. will. He's got four seconds to hit one. Yep. And that's going to go foul. Throw another one. Throw another one. No. He did not throw another. He didn't throw another. Everybody was staring at And that one was foul from Jump Street. What an effort from Olsen, but it's Mancini that moves on. And this is interesting because this is what Trevor Story told us early on. The right-handed hitter has an advantage. How about this last shot right here? Need that one more to tie it. Look at the reaction. Or get back in and let's throw another one. We stared at that one for a while. Batiste and everyone else was right there <laughs> along with him. That's gone. But it's Trey Mancini that will advance. Matt Olson of the Oakland A's is eliminated. And if the rest of the night is going to be like the first round matchup, don't go anywhere. Buckle up. Woo. What a show. Major League Baseball Players Trust is the charitable arm of the Players Association celebrating its silver anniversary this year. They're making a big impact in a lot of communities with their re-equip campaign, including right here in Denver. Recently, MLBPA ambassadors Michael Givens and Jeffrey Hammonds visited a new facility in Denver's Montebello neighborhood. It's the home for athletics and beyond a sport and mentoring program serving hundreds of youngsters every year. They surprised Athletics and Beyond with a donation of money and equipment to outfit their program for years to come. And then they added one more special surprise as well. I love this quote uh, that I use with my foundation kids and stuff like that. When you succeed, you use success. Don't ever let nobody take your success with you. I want to tell y'all personally, y'all invited to the Home and Derby. Athletics and Beyond itself, athletics is the, the gateway, it's the vehicle, right? But it's the beyond, it's the, when you get to that highest level. And then when you're done playing at the highest level, what are you going to do? A lot of those kids from Athletics and Beyond are sprinkled throughout the Coors Field Stadium tonight. Over 250,000 has been committed to the re-equip campaign so far, much of which has landed in the greater Denver area.
Take a deep breath after that. You kind of get a little gas just watching those two guys put on that show. Almost 50 combined home runs between the two of them. Yeah, and we definitely have to buckle up for the rest. This matchup is going to be really interesting. Maybe a little advice there, Mancino to Mancino to Joey Gallo. And for years, Joey Gallo's been the guy that you've wanted in the home run derby. He's acknowledged, like, I'm a, kind of a quiet guy. I like to stay to myself. I'm not sure how the spotlight's going to treat him because he's not a spotlight seeker. And he's got to deal with, listen to the ovation for Trevor Story. A home run about every 26 at bats. His average length is about 420 feet. He's got three of them that have traveled 440 feet. Grew up in Irving, Texas, played all sorts of sports, including baseball, football, and basketball. It wasn't until he broke his collarbone on a quarterback keeper in high school that the football career ended, and he said baseball is my future and my favorite sport. What may be his final year in a Rocky uniform, he's ready to go in the 2021 Derby. I watch the strategy. You see the catcher behind the plate. He's going to be set up way inside. That's where Redmond has to be able to deliver the pitch. And Redmond, of course, former manager, he's the pitch coach here in Colorado. He's got experience doing this, and that's a big fly there from Story, which may get him a bonus. Buster. Yeah, Carl. I talked to Trevor Story over the weekend, and he really felt like he potentially had an advantage here. The fans. He talked about the energy he would draw from them. He talked about being accustomed to the elevation, and he really believes this ballpark is better suited for right handed hitters, Carl. Well, he would know for sure. Half his games have been played here. His old teammate, Nolan Arenado, of course, is in the house. He's a big supporter of Trevor's stories. And he is locked, and that one is flying. Every pitch way inside. Look where the plate is, and look where Trevor's at. He wants everything on the dirt area, not even over the plate. His last ball went 456. He's got a home run tonight that traveled 518 feet. There it is. Yeah, that one cleared and went almost to the scoreboard again in his home run total at seven. 90 seconds to go, line shot, that short ball in left, and it does not get over it, and he calls a timeout. We've had the most total home runs by a rookie in a derby, 19, Larry Walker. We'll see if Story can go there. We'll take a time. It's All-Star Week, and MLB doesn't trust the best in baseball to just any network. They go with T-Mobile, the biggest hitter in 5G, taking you closer to the action than ever before, from bringing fans to batting practice live in HD to wireless 5G point-of-view cams, and unlocking exclusive 5G features in the next-gen MLB AR app, whether you're home or away. Get the app now and experience the T-Mobile Home Run Derby like never before. A great scene between that commercial. I hope you got a chance to see okay. it. But I mentioned Nolan Arenado. That was Arenado who came out and tried to implore this fan base to start screaming for story. Yeah, that was great right there. Take it, Marley. <laughs> hey, guys. So, Nolan, what did you tell Trevor right there? Because I know he's one of your favorites, your former teammate. Hey, keep going. Keep going. And uh, I want him to win it. He's my boy. He's putting on a great show for the home fans. The fans deserve it, and uh, I think he's got more left in him. He's going to be all right. Do you think we're going to see a bowl up there, Nolan, right where the where the marker is, the mom marker? Joey Gallo or uh, we're going to get it done for sure. It's going to happen. Thanks for the time, Nolan. Go have some fun. I agree with Nolan. Story after that timeout hits one really high here, but he's hitting it too. Even at Coors, the deepest part of the park, and he didn't get out. Next one, a line drive. A minute to go with his 30 seconds already earned. Plus the 30 you get, so we still get a minute to go. It's almost two minutes to go. Yeah, he's a dead full hitter right now. He's looking for anything in. He has to be able to be disciplined and take anything away. Just continue just to rake in. 
Edmonds doing a nice job right now feeding it there. And that one's going to go. This is another guy of his, not only Arenado, but we just saw Troy Tulowitzki with the University of Texas in the College World Series. Of course, Tulo was here when Trevor started. Tulo had a home in Las Vegas and invited Trevor to Tulo camp. That wasn't very easy, Tulo camp. Good training ground, they did two a days, and this is how it pays off. That's a massive moonshot to left, and it's gone. Not surprised with Tulo doing two. Straight away center, Trees. Gone. Good start with a minute still to go. He's sitting there at 16. Kind of establishing the number through the first round, about 16, 17. And then you add, you know, seven, eight if you're lucky. I think it's just the paint, that's why. And you get that beautiful pitch inside right there. That's exactly what Redmond's been doing. Feeding it in. That's where he asked for it. That's what they're that's what they've been practicing all along. That's 518. And if, if that's 518, we are about to see some really big time blasts here. 50,000 folks want him to put up a huge number. Two-time All-Star last year of his deal with the Rockies. These fans have said goodbye to stars before. Arenado, of course, one of them. And they understand that may be, again, the environment with Story, but if we could ever have him go out a home run derby champion, that would be tremendous. That's awesome seeing there, seeing the left side of the infield for many years here in Colorado. And that's his boy. He's the one hydrating him as well. But Black's manager said, I like his chances as much as anybody. Home park, sight lines are good. And now Renato let the cat out of the bag. If anybody's going to hit one as far as Otani, it's going to be Gallo. And that's going to be the challenge for Story. What's the number you're looking for here for Trevor? I'm looking for at least 23. His, his matchup is not a good one. It's not a favorable one but he's making a run at it. Almost 150 homers in a Rocky uniform. Too high on that one. Redmond should fire the next one in here with 25 to go. Fortunately, since the bonus time, he has not added to his total to the degree that he had to. Now that one's got some carry to right center. Nope. With all his strength, all his power, he knows who he is. He has to pull it. 18. And there, he's in trouble. Now, 18. Otani just down there in that warm-up area watching. Redmond like that one. Will that be the critical one? It will count. Travel 440 feet. Home run total for Story, 20. Really good start tonight to the Derby and a good performance from Story. Gallo coming up. We'll take a timeout here at Coors. This is tomorrow. Tomorrow, very early, someone will go on her first ever run. Right after, Shelly Ann will run the 100 in under 10 seconds. By lunchtime, a shoe will grow from a seed. The WNBA will surpass the NBA in popularity. This tennis legend will launch her own video game. Also, tomorrow, we will all finally respect athletes' mental health. A woman will run a marathon on Mars. Tomorrow, we will celebrate new champions. And one sport is declared a human right, tomorrow will go really crazy. Marie Antoinette will score seven in seven minutes. Guy will land a 16-20. LeBron will score 120, and I don't know what this is, but it looks amazing. Of course, the internet will break. Well done, tomorrow. Can't wait to see what's next. Good luck underneath. You saw Pete Alonso, Salvador Perez. They're getting ready for their showdown and their debut here in this 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby. Joey Gallo. A little home run history for him. 2014 Futures game. <laughs> that was mashed. 
He had two seasons of 40 plus. And the longest career home run he hit was 495 feet. That was back on July 20th of 2018. That will not be the longest career home run if we count tonight, because he's going to go over 500 feet. And I think most of the people that are here understand that. He's Get got 24 homers coming in. Get your popcorn. <laughs> Get it. And if you haven't had it yet, do not move. All right, so 67 career homers in high school. That's the Nevada record. <laughs> You know who his buddy was growing up? Chris Bryant. Harper's from Nevada. And his first pitch is a moon shot that won't get out of here. The next one will. There we go. See how far and how hard he hits it. Gallo, like Story, is going to be a free agent after this year. So he said, I wanted to do it at least one time. Why not now? I didn't want to wait too long. I wanted to do it in a Ranger uniform. This is the concern I have, because if there's a player that has great exit velocity, yes, it's Gallo, but he also has a high launch angle. If he tries to lift the ball more than what he's accustomed to, he's going to create that, a lot of pop-ups. He needs to just be himself and not try to lift, because his swing is designed only to lift. So far, not a great start. That one is hammered, and a 475 will get you some bonus time. Off the wall, though, didn't get up high enough. How about the prevention from Trevor Story saying that wall could, could work against you, and so far it's worked against Gallo with one of his shots. Got to pull it a little bit more. Still only three, and that's not a great pitch, but he golfs it down the line. That goes out of the building. A Ranger since 2012 when he was selected in the first round, his second All-Star appearance, and he's going to pull the plug with a buck 44 on the clock, 16 shy of Trevor Story. Soto watches. We will take a timeout. ZipRecruiter helped with my job search. It's like a free personal recruiter doing the heavy lifting for me so I can apply with a click. I got the job. <laughs> Put ZipRecruiter to work for you. Try Microban 24 Bathroom Cleaner. It powers through soap scum. Apply and allow to dry on tile to prevent mold and mildew growth for seven days. And on countertops to keep killing bacteria for up to 24 hours. Try Microban 24. As you look at Shohei Otani, remind everyone to download the MLB app, get in-game video highlights, live pitch-by-pitch, pitch, breaking news, updates, stat leaderboards, and more for your favorite team and the rest of the league. Tony Beasley's the pitcher. Tony Beasley is the story, according to Joey Gallo. He said it should be more about him, honestly, than me. In 2016, a rectal cancer diagnosis. He missed the whole season, fully healthy and back with the team since 2017. One of the things that they did was they sent Joey Gallo to the chemotherapy treatments with Beasley, which Buster established a deep-rooted relationship. There's no question about it. And Gallo said he wanted to give Beasley the opportunity to do this. So much regard for him. When I talked to Tony before the competition, he said the one thing about Gallo is he sometimes can overthink a little bit. And he wondered about that in this event. Well, he shouldn't overthink. He should just swing it like that one to right center field was a massive shot, but he is still only got six home runs. He does have that 30-second bonus, so you add a minute to the minute five. All right, Eddie, break it down. What's going on here? This does not look good at all right now for Joey. He was letting balls get deep on him, and now he's trying to make the adjustment on the fly, and he's struggling a bit to be able to find that groove. You always see a hitter like this getting one of those runs. He has yet to do that. Yeah. And with 45 seconds left, it's getting a little late. Trevor Story put a 20 up on the board, and now Gallo is trying to get there, and he's popping the ball up. Big surprise here for Joey Gallo, who's got 24 home runs at the break. And it's starting to look pretty good for Trevor Story. That one's hit well. So is that one right there. Maybe this is the groove he needed to get into, but he's doing it with 12 seconds to go in round one. Beasley fires another one, and that's a liner. So halfway there with a minute to go, and he looks tired here. Not 
How about, uh, and you can see it right there, he's going to need nine in a minute. He says he's okay. We'll take a little time out here. Cutting edge tech, world class interiors, and peerless design. Their only competition is each other. The incomparable Mercedes-Benz SUVs. Extraordinary. Runs in the family. Visit your local Mercedes-Benz dealer today for exceptional lease and financing offers. So I grew up in Nevada. One of his buddies was Chris Bryant. Bryant's father, Mike, and Gallo's father, Tony, actually met each other on a baseball field. They realized their two kids were pretty good ball players. So every Sunday morning, Gallo would go over to Bryant's where they had a batting cage, and they would... They would learn to hit the baseball and become major league ball players. They replaced a lot of netting there. Yeah, they did. All right, so does he have it in him? Can he get nine in 60 seconds? The answer is yes. Now you got to start quick. He has to start quick. That's one. That's two. Here we go. If he gets on this run right now, it could be interesting. Ten seconds left. That's three. Here we go. Buckle up, Carl. Yeah, he has now hit four in a row, and all of a sudden, he's zeroing in. You figure 30 seconds, and you're halfway there, and he's halfway there. He's got five to go in 30 seconds. Oh, go. he is starting to lock in. I don't know. That one is high, and it may not be enough. That one's got to get back more to the pool side. 18 seconds. He needs three. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Didn't go. That one will. That's going to be 18. He needs this one. That's 19. He's got three seconds and one more to go. Oh. And he popped it up. Beasley did not get that off oh. in time. And that doesn't count. I can't yes, believe he'll count that if it goes. And it did, but that was after. What's the number? Is it stories 20? It is. Trevor Story hangs on. Gallo runs out of time. And I'm not sure that Beasley could have thrown that pitch any quicker than he did. Boy, the two guys that have been beaten have put up unreal efforts, but lost by one. Olsen and Gallo. Wasn't that our picks? I had Gallo. You had Olsen. We're out. <laughs> But it works for Trevor Story and the Colorado Rockies fans. That's outstanding. The defending champion and the guy that most think is in line to dethrone him. Pete Alonso coming up. The polar bear, Salvador Perez. Don't count out the great big catcher from Kansas City. And then it is Juan Soto and Shohei Otani. Baseball's biggest story in 2021 on the biggest stage yet. Yo, nice singer yesterday. What's your secret, bro? Meditation. Every night before I go to bed, in my mind, I go back to a Little League game and feel like I can absolutely crush those pitchers. On a spotty network, this is what Stanton heard. Every night, I go to a Little League game and crush those pitchers. Little League. Oh, yeah. Don't trust big swings to just any network. Go with T-Mobile, the biggest hitter in 5G. This thing where you're supposed to be, buddy. Exclusively in movie theaters Thursday. Welcome back to Minos Escape Room. No, no. We broke it once. We'll do it again. Try 0526. This is way bigger than last time. Escape Room Tournament of Champions. Rated PG-13. Man, Pizza Hut packs so much meat in their meat lovers' pizza. Six meats. Over a pound of meat and cheese. This thing's a monster. Grab a $12.99 meat lovers' pizza by July 31st before it's gone. No one out pizza the hut. The beach has always been there for us. So it's time we were there for it. That's why Corona's helping clean beaches across the U.S. this summer. It's the first step in our fight against plastic pollution. I had bad luck my whole life. Your rage is your weapon. I can teach you to use it. Let's go. 
Snake Eyes. Rated PG-13. Wendy's serves fresh, never-frozen beef on every hamburger. That's why our Dave Single is so hot and juicy. But what if that Dave Single was buy one, get one for a buck? And all these faves were, too. Get any of these faves, BOGO $1, only at Wendy's. Your mom's got to go. She's family. She used my Old Spice moisturizer with shea butter, and she's wearing my robe. <clears throat> We're out. Careful. They could smell fear. I am not afraid. Might be me. Legend has it there is a tree in the Amazon that could change the world. I'm the only one that could get you there. I want you most modest. There are things out there you can't imagine. A submarine to the Amazon. Disney's Jungle Cruise. Rated PG-13. In theaters July 30th. Or order it on Disney Plus with Premier Access. Hi, I wanted to get the mobile deal I saw on the sign. Sure, if you're getting four lines. Oh, I don't need four lines. Well, then you can't get that deal. But imagine what you could do with four lines. You can have one to call your lawyer. What? Embezzlement. Or you can use one to call your boss. Quick question, how do I tell someone if they're not getting four lines that each is going to cost more? Yeah, I don't think she looks happy. No, not yet. She's going to lose her mind. You tell her. You know what? I'm good. T-Mobile is selling it. Don't buy it. Didn't work. For one fair price, no matter how many lines you need, choose Spectrum Mobile. I think we're lost. We're good. We're good. Yeah, we're lost. What are we going to do? Give me a machete. I can build a shelter. I do not have a machete. Oh, now who came unprepared? You know what? You don't get lost going bowling. No! You're making a mistake here. What are you doing? I'm streaming the season finale. You have a signal. Yeah, I got Spectrum Mobile, so they're the fastest overall and more reliable. So you can call for help? Oh, yeah. As soon as this episode is over. Feels like you want me to call now. Switch to Spectrum Mobile for the fastest overall speeds and most reliable service coast to coast. It's a better way to mobile. It's Spectrum Mobile. Hope you're enjoying it as much as we are and the fans in this building. We welcome you back to the 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby. Take a look at T-Mobile's 5G POV cam, bringing fans up close to the biggest home run derby swings like never before. Incredible images, all streaming wirelessly in high definition over T-Mobile's 5G network. Eddie, first two uh, matches have been unbelievable. They've been great, and it's been two right-handed hitters so far that have won it. Yep. Trevor Story, Colorado Rocky, and so does Trey Cassini. So the two lower C six, seven, not Joey Gallagher, Matt Olson, the two left are getting set, defending champion. Alonso, and as we do, let's go back a couple of years. The 2019 Home Run Derby. Vladimir Guerrero. This is incredible. <laughs> I think we have drama here. I absolutely love this kid. Pete Alonso, he's your Home Run Derby champion. Oh my God, that was a blast. I'm going to remember that for the rest of my life. Pete Alonso, the 2019 champion, after he won that, then he showed up and drove in a couple of runs in the All-Star game the next day, the first rookie, multiple RBIs in an All-Star game, but he lives for the dirt, lives for it. This is his moment, he loves it, loves that the stands are all full and proud, and um, he's got Dave Gauss on the mound, throwing to him. Well, that is Hammer and Alonzo, one for two to start. Here we go. There goes a high one to left field. Fifty-three homers as a rookie back in 19. He cried at first base when he hit that 53rd, which broke Aaron Judge's rookie. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's trying to hit that scoreboard, that's for sure. He's got a 492-foot home run. Look up. This one's as high as it is far, and it's going to go to the seats. Mm. Uh-oh. Uh, another massive shot left center field. I've been deep. Making me forget how to speak English going straight to the Spanish right here. Oh, boy. Every one of these is a no doubter here to defend and here to post a huge number Alonzo and that, that right there that home run line drive that altitude it doesn't go if you pull it as a lefty but as a righty it does 
That's the advantage that the right-handed hitters have. He calls time right there. The scoreboard here has his longest homer traveling 514 <laughs> feet. Hola Bear bouncing a little bit. Hey, uh, I didn't order any pizza. Jake from State Farm. After you saved me so much dough on insurance with that Parker promo, I devised a promo for you. Here's the deal, Parker. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. Yeah, right. Pepperoni pockets, an atomic brownie, cuckoo crusty. There's no promo, it's just great rates. And a cider ranch. You're the man, man. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You can see those colorful bats that Pete Alonso <laughs> is using. A great story written by June Lee on ESPN.com about this. Pete Alonso got an artist, Gregory Siff, to design eight different bats for him, to tell different chapters of Alonso's career. They're working so for him so far, Carl. Oh, they sure are. One of the movies that he loves is 300. He's got that saying, Moan La Beck, come and take them. He likes the idea of being alone <laughs> with all these people rooting against him and the nine precision players in picture. And he's going to post it. At least appears the highest number we've seen. That may be the oh, longest one. Ay, bendito, gracias. Every one of these is going to the last row in left field. That one goes first row in left field. And Pete Alonso's got another one coming. 18 home runs and two minutes still to hit more. And I don't know if he's swinging the bat or he's dancing up there because he's feeling it with the, with the music and everything. Love it. Anybody worried about his ability to deal with the thin air? He made a point. Me and my girlfriend come out to Wyoming, Colorado. We're always in this. We love this. <laughs> so rather than be running from it, he embraces and runs towards it. Well, he's got 30 seconds left, and he still has a minute after this. And now we're going to give some folks in the right center field area a chance to see a ball. That one is yanked down the left field line, and it's gone. Oh, it's that big. Four homers, Eddie. Five yeah. seconds to go. He's still got a chance for another one. Dave Joust is going to throw it in time. And a liner that won't get out. But 25 with 60 seconds to go. He is into it, Eddie. He's into it. So is Dave Joust, who had already had experience here. It's not only Pete Alonso. It's his BP thrower. Great cadence. Let's not forget Jouse, if you guys don't remember, Nomar Garcipara actually also was a home run derby participant when that man right there was feeding him. Look at the hands, they come up, elbow stays tight, that's the right elbow tight to the body and then the extension, hitting it out in front. Wants the ball up, he receives it up, not cutting a swing at all. Perfect balance, finishing high, great TV finish. You want a 500 footer this is what it looks like from the high home camera so the bats are all a uh, tribute to his upbringing his life his life philosophies and there are eight different ones there he, is. he is just bouncing up here yes he is he's feeling good and again he's got really strong he has really strong legs a great foundation so the bonus you get for hitting the ball 475 feet, he would have had the bonus eight different times. That's gone. Yeah, it is. And let's not forget the polar bear who just keeps ripping. After he won the million dollars in 19, he donated $50,000 each to the Wounded Warrior Foundation and Tunnel to Towers, the nonprofit which aids first responders and families. He does everything right. You can see the different baseball that is being thrown in a huge towering home run this is a no fly zone right it's why those flyovers occurred before you know, alonzo has hit 30 and he's got 20 seconds to go yeah, salvi has it that <laughs> out goodness oh my look look at his balance once he finishes his swing the guys were already falling back 
He's still fighting through. Josh Hamilton hit 28, which was a record. He's just shattered the first round record. Oh, that's gone in a big way. Plant 34 on the board. And he goes to the crowd to get them involved. Taiwan Walker, another Met All-Star. Salvi Perez, can I buy an extra few minutes? <laughs> can I buy a vowel? Can I buy a few extra minutes? Salvi, what are you going to do now? <laughs> well, he was feeling it in his bones and the bat. What a round for Pete Alonso. 35 home runs. Yeah, Salvi's enjoying this one. Again, that was straight pop right there by Pete Alonso. Oh my. Look at the shots right there, where they went. I think the field is going to disappear after we see <laughs> these many. I thought July 4th was the fireworks show, but that looks like quite a display for Pete Alonso. And Pete Alonso has joined us here at the desk. Man, you had you had the beat going, you were bouncing, you're feeling it, aren't you? What was that like? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How are those legs, man? Good? Oh perfect. Yeah? Perfect. This is this is everything I dreamed of when I was a young kid, so. I'm just living in the moment right now. Is this the locked in Pete Alonso that's sitting right here with us right now? You bet. Oh yeah. Now show us show us your bat because I think it's really cool that that you went up there with that bat and that bat produced for you. Yes. 30 cats. Yeah. So, Hold that up again, Pete. Yeah, oh, sorry, here you go, cameras. <laughs> Thank you, Greg Garisif. You've done an amazing job with all my home run derby bats and BP bats. You the man. Thank you so much. I know you're. I know he's out there. The artist that's no. here, he's out there. He's out there. Oh yeah, but well, he's in there right now, no, man. Absolutely. He's right there. Did the altitude affect at all? No. 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 I come. I come out here every off season. Uh, do some hiking, some fly fishing. I love spending time in the mountains. You don't do some swimming. Man. Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. But this um, hiking, hiking at high altitude, spending time out here in the Rockies, like Wyoming, Colorado, Montana. It's, this is a special place for me, and it's like a second home. All right, so your guy, Salvi Perez, just told Molly Rivera, that was so impressive, I, I'm not certain I can do what he just did. He's going to try, obviously, but 35, that's a record in the first round. But you've done that now. Check that box off. All right, well, um, I'm just hoping I get to the second round, and... Uh, and you're hoping? I want to I defend. I want to defend my time. I know you do. Now, just you have eight. You have seven other bats. Now you just hit 35 with that one. Will you be inclined to use that again? I'm a, I'm a little stitious. I'm not superstitious, but I'm gonna I'm gonna use this. You're gonna use that again. Yeah, absolutely. Could you switch bats mid round if things aren't going well? I could. Yeah, I got I got bats down in the cage. All right. Well, that was awfully impressive. Now, do you have a number when you go up there, or you just get in the zone and wherever we post, that's what we're gonna we're good. So right now, uh, I have a little different strategy this year. Um, I'm going first instead of last. I'm setting the bar every single time I step in that box. Yeah, because you were chasing last last time in 19. Yeah, right. This year, my mentality, I am the bar. I am the standard. And I'm going to go out there and, and make as much distance uh, between me and my opponent, whoever I'm facing. I, I, love, I just love where you're at right now. Thank you. <laughs> How did you get to this moment right there? I mean, in the state of mind, to be able to stay focused and, and, and and wow yourself up. Did you pick the music? I did pick the music. Oh, New York, uh, New York rappers. I got Mob Deep and Nas. So I got to represent New York here in Colorado. You had your best buddy the last time in 19. You have Dave Joust this time. What about that dynamic? So um, for me, it's a special. This is such a special event, and I just want to spread the love around. You I know what you. I mean? Yeah. So um, me and my cousin, we had such an incredible uh, Incredible time in 2019 and for me I have a ton of family in Ohio and obviously he grew up in Cleveland So we shared that special moment and now we're out here with Jousey and Jousey's just such a well-traveled baseball man and he's um, Yeah, the last time he threw was uh, with Nomar Garcia yeah. Parra in, yeah. in 99 So he's got experience and I'm, I'm excited. Nomar, BJ Suroff, he threw to as well The other thing too, you know, I remember in 19 you really prepared you practiced for it We've had so much rain in the Northeast. Has that affected your ability to prepare? Oh, no, absolutely not. We picked a sunny day, thankfully. One of the, one of the rare ones in New York City this year. We've had a ton of a ton of storm stuff, and uh, I'm, I'm just happy that this year it's uh, we've been able to get most of our games, and we're almost caught up. Yeah. When you prepared, 
Did you do it for the three minute mark? Yes. Taking the break? All the rules, yep. What was your best number there? Uh, 30. That's, that, that right there is impressive in itself. Thank different you. Different ballpark. Did you feel the difference once you hit it? knowing how far these balls were going to focus on the next pitch. Well, I, for me, I'm just focused on every single pitch. Um, but and granted, like, it's, I thought it was a rumor. Um, but, I mean, clearly these balls are, are, are going really, really far. Um, <laughs> no, and it's fun. I'm, it's great for the fans. And then, um, I mean, this is, this is special. I mean, I was practicing that city. And cities, are, for me, I, I love hitting there. It's fun. There's a huge one there from Salvador Perez all the way to that last row. That's, that's sort of the furthest ball we've seen hit to left. You had about eight. I believe you get that bonus for 475. You had eight of those. Oh, okay. So you had many bonuses if you needed them. Nice. How do you like the format? A little quicker? Three minutes instead of four? Mm -hmm. okay. um, I mean, it's it, to me, it just feels the same. It feels the same format. It's just one, one minute less. And, um, it's interesting for sure. You strike me as the type, and I don't know this, but you strike me as the type who anytime there's a home run derby, you will raise your hand to participate. Win or lose, you don't care. I'm in. Right. I, this is um, this is so fun for me, and um, I, I, I just love I love doing it. So uh, this is this is a dream come true for me. You know what's interesting? With your round, it's impressive. Salvi Perez, 17, pretty much the average of what we've seen. Exactly throughout. right. That's what we've seen. In your case, it was a little different. Again, Galsy was giving you every pitch up. That's where you wanted it. Well, I, I, in our practice, we just went through, uh, went through, and, and I mean, and also I, I see him every day in, in, in batting practice. So for right. me, uh, when we practice, I mean, it was, we, we didn't miss a beat. Hey, Pete, hang here. Marley's got Fernando Tatis Jr. I want you to hear this interview. Okay. So Fernando, what did you think of Pete's uh, 35 home run performance? And uh, Salvi's had a lot of work to do. Wow. Just wow, uh, what he's doing is really impressive, and I'm, I'm just glad I'm here right now. Yeah, <laughs> so what do you think? Maybe next year in L.A., you against Pete? <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely, you know, something I'm looking forward to it, but let's see what happens. Here we go, you heard it right here, Pete, next year in L.A. against <laughs> Fernando Tatis Jr. <laughs> Good job, Marty, we set up two stars for next year. All right, we only need six more. All right. He's a fabulous athlete, fabulous player. I know you respect the heck out of him. Oh, absolutely. Um, what he's been able to do consistent, consistency-wise, it, it's it's outstanding. It's absolutely outstanding. It's, I mean, it's it's cool. It's not really that cool to watch because he's so good. And when you play against a guy like that, it's like, oh man, this guy. Uh, but I mean, I, I respect it. He hustles hard, plays the game the right way, and he plays the game with a smile on his face too. And he has such a great time doing it. But um, he's a guy I respect. I, I like him a lot. We have a, we actually have a lot in common. And uh, yeah, he's. No, he's a really good dude, but every time we face him, he's, he's trouble for us, that's for sure. Yeah, he's trouble for everybody you know, to face him. You know who's trouble for Salvi? Yeah. This guy to my left right now. Salvi's putting on show, 21 home runs. Would have won the story round, and most likely have won also the first round, but Matt just paired up with the right guy. Yeah, it's what we call the bad draw. Yeah. Bad draw with Pete Alonso, but again, an incredible performance by the Royals backstop, Salvador Perez. This is impressive right here. Another huge fly. Standing over Ooh, South that's Perez. That's another one, too. Ended strong. All right. Pete, All right. thank you. You got it, Pete. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, man. See you again. You got it. That was an awesome effort by Sal Perez, 27, which is the second most in this home run derby. Yeah, but he knew going yeah, in. Catching 44 was going to be hard. <laughs> and that's Alonzo and everyone else tonight. And there's a sign of great respect. What a show by Salvador Perez. That is. That's, a, that's an impressive show. Hitting everything out front. Doing everything right with what he could do. Got in a couple runs. But unfortunately for Salvi, he did not know what to do with the polar bear. So the number that everyone is shooting for now, just as a psychological barrier, is 35. That guy right there, Shohei Otani, has hit 33 in the first half of the season. In 1921, Major League Baseball home run leader Babe Ruth took the mound for one of the last starts of his career. It took a century for another home run leader to start on the mound. Shohei Otani, both were just 26 years old, and while Ruth was becoming just a hitter, Otani continues as a starting pitcher, throwing 95 mile an hour fastballs. And he is still putting up Ruthian numbers at the plate. Seven home runs of at least 440 feet this year. 
And his average exit velocity is among the best there is in all of baseball. Well, you can already kind of see the table being set on one side with that 35 number from Alonzo. And if it holds true and the one seed can advance, yeah, you're looking at an Alonzo Otani situation. I love the fact that he said, I want to go first. I want to set the bar. And with that killer mentality that he has at the plate, I think it's going to be very difficult for anyone to beat Pete Alonso. It's a strategy. He's worked on it. He's thought it out. So sure. let's see if Mr. Soto is thinking the same thing. Well, here's a guy who you remember, of course, from his rookie performance in the 2019 postseason, the year the Nats won the World Series, when he hit five home runs in the playoffs and dominated the World Series. Like a 438 on base and slug 741. He had an OPS over 1170. If there's a guy made for the moment, it feels like he would be the guy. And he comes in hitting a lot of ground balls and line drives. And he figures, so does his teammate Max Scherzer, if I can have success in the Derby, I can actually find my swing again. He could. And his stance is just a little bit different. He's standing a little bit more straight up. In this home run derby, usually it's crouched down, trying to just hit line drives, and anything that is up, he will lift. But here, Juan Soto is not going to try to pull the baseball like Matt Olson, like Joey Gallo. He's going to try to hit it left field, center field area to stay true to who he is. I'll tell you this, Eddie, he is hitting the ball very hard. He is. I mean, the carry on his ball, and watch this one go to that upper deck and right. There's another moonshot. Boy, is he hitting towering home runs. Catcher's not even ready. Soto is. Throw another one. Look, I love the take. A lot of guys were swinging some pitches out of the zone. Soto's going to get that ball up. So again, standing tall. I think he's going to make a difference. Scoreboard here, as he said, his longest homer is 520 feet. We'll check it, but his balls have been flying out with a buck 42. He'll cause timeout, and he's off to a very good start. The Nats, including Schwarber and Scherzer, out there to towel him down. <laughs>
It's getting close here. 30 seconds sitting at 15. He's getting close. He'll get there. He'll get to around 18. What you can't do is sort of watch. And these are home runs that you tend to want to watch because they hit so high. We've just gone right field. We've just gone left field. He's at 17. That one should go. You saw Scherzer, who said, I think this is going to be a great thing for him, an opportunity to use it, maybe propel him in the second half. We know all about the Nats in the second half. This would count if it goes, and it that's won't. too high. He's right at 18. Takes a breather here. It'll be interesting to see what he does with the last minute. Home run derby record 520 foot home run. That was the swing, and I guess you could admire that one. Yeah, you can admire that one. Again, this is a player that's going to use the entire field. We saw it last year, uh, two years ago, with Ronald Cunha Jr. in Cleveland, hitting the ball right center field with ease. Juan Soto is going to stay true to himself, but the difference is. His stance is a lot taller to relieve pressure from his legs, and I think it's a very smart move here in Denver. If Soto's got a minute to go. You wonder if he's going to be able to deal with Otani and what Otani's going to deal with. We saw 35. Is he going to be able to put a number like that up? And is Soto concerned at all about anything like that? Soto signed when he was 16 for a million and a half dollars. It was a fascinating signing because the Nationals saw him in the Dominican. The deal he signed was in like this dingy, dusty batting cage in which they had to pay somebody to get out of so they could bring him in there just to see it. And then as soon as he signed, a couple of other teams said, oh, no, 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 we'll give you a little more than the one and a half. Yeah, but true to his word, yes. he did sign for the $1.5 million instead of taking yep. higher offers, and you got to give him a lot of credit. And I think that's one of the reasons that the Washington Nationals even fell more in love with who Juan Soto is. Let's do it, baby. And all the Let's players at the home run derby wearing 44 on their backs in memory of Hank Aaron. Great home run hitter who passed away in January. Is there a number you have in mind? And the unknown in all of this is Otani. With Otani right here, if, it, if I'm Soto, you have to give him 25. 25 is a number that'll put a lot of pressure on Otani. And again, we listen to Pete Alonso say, I want to go first, set the tone, put the pressure on. There is, it's real. Yeah. And he felt it last year. Just missed a couple of pitches that were right where he wanted. That one was a perfect one, down and in, and he got that one. Remember, this is the highest number from a left-handed hitter if he can get to 23. Kevin Long, the pitcher, a little outside. That one was a better one, but that's going to stay in the yard. This may be the last swing. And he wants one more. Throw it. Uh, nope. 22 for Juan Soto. He said, all right, I've done it before. I've seen it before. Just don't know what the Otani experience is going to be like. Look, this is one of the most prettiest swings in the game. It works at 7 p.m. on a nightly basis. 1 p.m. if you are thinking about Sundays or even Sunday night baseball. It's beautiful. It works. Juan Soto right there. He feels confident with that 22. That puts pressure on Shohei Otani. Does not discriminate, pulling the baseball. He will go the other way, and that's exactly what he did here in this ballpark. 22 home runs, the longest 520 feet. Exit velocity, the most at 114 in that at, in that round for him. That 520 foot homer, the longest that we've seen in a derby since 2016. But now we turn the page and we focus on the biggest story in the first half of this Major League season. Shohei Otani, go back to 2016, Nippon Home Run Derby in Japan, and he won that. He was also the MVP of the second of Japan's two All-Star games. So there is experience, and right now, nothing has rattled Shohei Otani. Think about it.
home run derby tonight. Starting pitcher tomorrow night. Get through your inning, and you are the designated hitter. Get your few at bats. Yeah, this is going to be special right now. This is what a lot of people waited for. How telling will the first few swings be for you? Does it matter? I don't think the first few do matter. I, I believe you have to look at it 25, 30 seconds into his round. And again, a lot of early risers, including that man right there who won it in 1998, taking a picture of our generation's Babe Ruth. And you could say he surpassed that at least in the first half. Jason Brown is getting everything set out front. You just saw Shohei look at the pitcher's L, had to move it a few inches. Now they're adjusting where he's going to throw the ball. Jason Brown, the last time he <laughs> threw a baseball to Shohei Otani that Otani swung at was in March. Understand that. The last time this guy threw a ball that Otani swung at was in March. Jason Brown wanted a warm up. There's no warm ups here. Let's go. <laughs> the first pitch he threw during batting practice turned out to be a putter. He said, I didn't mean to do that. Go ahead, Buster. Okay. So, Carl, I've seen a lot of these home run derbies, so have you. And let's face it, a lot of players by the end of the first round are typically gone. The, the end of this first round, no. no. They are all sticking around to watch the show. Yeah, there is a level of amazement with what Otani's done from his peers, without question. Being that two sport, uh, the two way guy, pitcher and hitter. And so far, he's got a lot of singles and doubles. Yep. Once he gets that first one, he should get on a run. Again, he has not been hitting off Jason Brown all season long. <laughs> Throws his head back. 30 seconds in, he still hasn't had a home run. The last one he took during batting practice was 510 feet. And as much pressure as Shohei's feeling, so is Jason Brown right now. There's one. And we believe it is. It's certainly high enough. Is it far enough? Yes, it is. So he's on the board, but he's a minute in with one. Left-handed hitters, huh? Yeah. This Brown's got some run to it right now. Also. Wow. Not what we thought from Otani with a minute 50 on the clock. Soto's not even really watching. Hooks one down the line that is gone. That's number two. He doesn't That's have great. the bonus yet. Hasn't really squared one. Now he's starting to. There it is. Careful out there because the ball's coming off the bat at a very high rate of speed. Only four with a minute 20 in the first round. That should get up enough. Whoa. <laughs> so he's got five. He calls timeout. And yeah, we're going to need to see showtime in the next two minutes and 20 seconds. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure right now on Chohei Otani. I'm getting text messages all the way from Japan saying, we're all up watching. <laughs> Early in the morning in Japan, they are watching. And Chohei Otani so far, five home runs. And there's a minute 20 left. He has earned that bonus. Still a lot of time for a guy that has this much pop. Yeah, Shohei Otani just apparently got words of wisdom from his angel teammate Mike Trout just called in. Thumbs up. And now the crowd gets into it. Tell you what, he's trying to pull everything. Instead, he's got a lot of power. He can go right center field. Big mistake of his trying to just pull. Getting everything at the top, and right now he needs to get him that roll right there. That ball's blasted. Shohei Otani. There we go. That's where he's sky go. high. That's your spot, right center field, says it runner. He's got his bonus. He got jammed there. He's got nine. He needs to get 22. That's another high moon ball, and it's going to have to travel. 
did get out. For him to make a comeback right now, he has to get with 30 seconds left to at least 13. And he's fatiguing a bit. We're seeing the off balance. Part of you that wonders if he gets a little tired, he starts just swinging the bat instead of trying to hook. Those early balls were all line drives down the right field. But now he's using more of the center of the ballpark. And anything in, he can pull and hit out of the ballpark. This swing is not designed for pull. He's got himself right back in this country. Yes, he has. Right back in it. Will this one count? That's a little after the buzzer, but he's right back in this thing, and he is toast. He's fatigued. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Trout, line two. Paul again. Paul again. This reminds me a lot of 1998 where Ken Griffey Jr. started off without hitting a home run early on and then finally turned it on in a major way. Will Shohei Otani be able to do that with one minute left of bonus time? You get it? Oh, we're doing great. Ken Griffey Jr. is set side right here. Okay. Is he going to do it? Is he going to hit seven in a minute? See? Griff thinks he will. Well, he said, yeah, I think he will. <laughs> the home run derby champ in 98, Ken Griffey. All right, here we go with a minute. He needs seven to win, six to tie. He's got 16 home runs. Again, that's a good start. That's, yeah, top spin, though. Oh, just knock it in there. Now, that one is not top spin and not sneaking. I don't know what Mike Trout told him on that phone call, but it's, it's working. Top pitch to hit there. That one was two down. That's way gone. Otani top deck. Otani top deck. But it's good. Right now, 30 seconds. All he needs is two more. At least a tie. That won't do it. We've had. Two competitions end with the loser losing by one. Uh-oh, he's got to get it going here. He needs two in 10 seconds. That's one. One more, Carl. That's it right there. That ties it. Now win it. He may have oh. just won it with three in a row. I don't think that's going to go. No, it didn't. And we have a tie. <laughs> We have our first swing off of the 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby. But after that start, what a finish. And I spoke with Yusei Kikuchi, who played in the same high school as Shohei Otani, not at the same time. And he said all he has to do is eat rice, a lot of it, and hit it out front. But the key of this round was Shohei Otani stopped trying to pull the baseball. He just hit it where it is. He's strong enough to be able to do that, and the fans ended up getting rewarded right there with that home run. Soto's long was 520 feet. Otani's long was 513 feet. And Otani down to one knee. He is tired. All right, so here is our tiebreaker. Three-minute time to bats in the first two. The bonus time, and we go to the bottom. Tiebreakers, one minute of bats. You don't stop the clock. If we're still time after that, we'll have a swing off with three swings per batter. So 60 seconds on the clock, and Soto will hit the bar for Otani. And Otani's gassed right now. So there's Soto has an advantage where he had sat down, waited. In the meantime, Shohei Otani is gassed and he has to deal with a lot of the Japanese media that is here present trying to get interviews with him. He's like, give me a break, give me some time. The longest ball Shohei Otani hit in that round was 513 feet. The hardest was 117 miles per hour. Mile High City, Denver, Colorado, the 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby and what a show it's been so far. Here comes Soto with 60 seconds on the clock. The 22-year-old Washington National Superstar. That's the crouch we're used to seeing. He will post a number as Otani waits. 
Long's first one, and it's a ground ball. I mean, advantage right now goes to Juan Soto. Just with the time of rest that he's had, he gets on a roll early. It puts a lot of pressure on Otani. First of all, tiebreakers. 20 seconds in. He's added one. The over-under is five. What do you think the number to post is? I believe that Juan Soto, if he's going to pass for the next round, has to at least get the third. You have to set the tone. We heard Pete Alonso set and say it earlier. Put the pressure on the guy hitting second. There's that carry that you see from Soto to straightaway center field, and it one leaves. There's another one, so all of a sudden Soto's starting to climb that ladder. Here's that carry to center. And he said 30. We're at 26 right now. Line shot won't get out. 27. He knows it. He knows it too. He knew, he knew that he need, at least needed to get to that mark. Let's see if that works for Juan. Great effort from the 22-year-old superstar of the Washington Nationals, Juan Soto. Get the rip. And now it's Otani who joined the Angels in December of 2017 as a 23-year-old. All 30 Major League teams expressed interest in him, smartly. And he is Asian selected seven teams as finalists. The Angels met with him. It was the GM at that point, the owner, Mike Sosha, the manager. Mike Trout FaceTime from the East Coast. He was getting set for his wedding. Six other teams were finalists. February 2nd, he signs a deal for eight and a half million dollars. Do you understand that Joe Otani is earning three million dollars this year? Three million. Next year, five and a half. Carl, we're about to see a show here. This is showtime. This is showtime. Right here. Showtime. Right, so Shohei Otani stepping in. We've got a spare microphone up here. Ken Griffin Jr. has put the headsets on. So I'm not sure if we can get our spare headset to work. But he's going to watch along with us as Otani has to do some damage in 60 seconds. Pressure's on, and again, he's trying to pull the baseball. We saw when it worked. Stay up the middle. If he tries to pull, he's in trouble. The ref, what do you see? A homer? Right now, is just trying to get in the groove. The person who gets in the groove and stays in there long is going to win. That's just the way it goes. You're having flashbacks for yourself? Nope. Not at all. <laughs> Otani's hitting there close to the moon. Whee! Here he goes, and Shohei Otani. Not yet. Only 15 seconds left. Each one. That not, that won't do it. No, nope. no. Nope. 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 <laughs> Needs one. Nope. nope. Got to throw it. it. Got to throw it. And here it goes. Uh, nope. That will not do it. Retire we're gonna have a little swing off, three swings, Junior. No. He's the starting pitcher for tomorrow. Unbelievable, right? <laughs> he's, not gonna, he's not gonna be able to hold the, the ball tomorrow. <laughs> not, not gonna be able to stand up. First pitch, ambush. <laughs> tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> First pitch, jumping right in there. He better hydrate in the Oh. He's already at 40 swings. He's got a lot left, too. That's the problem. Again, starting tomorrow on the SDH. Hang with him, as they say. But he only got to throw one in. <laughs> Still, you're ambushing first pitch. First pitch. <laughs> High leg kick. Both numbers showing. Great 360. <laughs> Look. He's going to try to get the first pitch over. Yes, he is. Yeah. Uh, oh. For the tiebreaker now. Three swings. Three swings. That's it. How hard is how hard is three swings? Like what? It, it, it's no different than the, the three swings that the last three swings that you've got to hit 
one or two out. Right. Uh, so, you know, it's it's do or die. You know, you got two good young hitters up, which is a fun thing fun thing to watch. You've won this three times. How difficult is it when you know you've got to hit a homer to hit a homer? I can tell you probably out of the ones that I've hit in regular season play, yeah, probably five that I actually tried to hit a home run and hit five of them. Yeah. So now you get into the mode where you're waiting for your pitch, right? You get three swings. Oh yeah. That. That's going to be close. One for one. Oh, what this matchup right here, Juan Soto, he loves the challenge. He embraces it. Kevin Long is the man pitching to him. And this is more like what you see during a at bat in a game for Soto. He gets in that crouch, oh. and he is two for two. Oh, Woo. man, that one was hit. Otani is blowing on his hand. <laughs> Soto patented stance right here, taking his time. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's his own hitting coach. He's just trying to pay it back for some things that he did to him. <laughs> it does give Otani a few more seconds to breathe. Oh, and God. Alan Soto just went. Three for three. Can't do better than that. That right there is some serious clutch performance. Absolutely. Woo! 496, 500 in the last two. Just a small ballpark. <laughs> and the thing is, Juan Soto, the entire time, he's not trying to pull the baseball. He knows he can go deep straight away center. He knows he can go left center field. K-Long loving it, man. Nationals are loving it, too, because maybe this is going to get Juan Soto back into that groove that he was in in 2019. That was awesome. And this is a guy with the lowest launch angle all season long average wise. He's a line drive hitter, but he understands when he has to lift the baseball, he can he can lift the baseball. And that's the message he sent the baseball community right there. You know it's really refreshing tonight, which is what you did. There's a lot of guys smiling in the middle of the dirt. Really cool to see. We smiled? You smiled. You smiled. I don't remember that. Yeah, you did. Yeah. You had your hat on backwards like Soto just put his hat on backwards, and you smiled. No, that's just because my dad's head was too big when I was growing up. <laughs> and he wore his hat backwards, too. <laughs> well, you know, my father's head froze back then. I did. Yes, they did. Nope, that's, that's it. It's over. Juan Soto is going to move on, and Shohei Otani, his night is over. That's what a really show. Nice. That's really nice. What a show. And both lefty hitters in this round. So far, it's been all righty hitters and Juan Soto, who swings the bat pretty much like a righty. He doesn't care what kind of dimensions you have here. And Platano. Go ahead, Marley. Thank you, Junior. Good to see you. I definitely wanted to chat, first of all, to Nelson. Of course, we need to congratulate Juan. Juan, what was it like to play spoiler today? And a lot of people thought that it was going to be all about Shohei Otani, and it was about Juan Soto show. Oh, it's just great. It's just great, man. He gave everything he has. I gave everything I have. It's just going my way. It was a fun competition, like I say earlier today. Uh, thanks God I get the win, but we got a long way to go now. <laughs> so then, what's the technique for the next one? What did you learn from this round? Oh, it's just like, you gotta stay calm now. Don't get too quick. Just confidence in yourself and try to hit the ball. And what did Tatis and, and Vladi tell you? They just were like, hey, <laughs> take your time. You got these, come on, man. And I got them. Well, you got it, Juan. <laughs> thank you, congratulations. Moving on to the next round. Thank you, thank you. Well, you remember back to 
the 19 postseason and you would say about Soto the things you're saying about Otani at least as an offensive player and defensive there's nothing he can't do we had that conversation about that guy right there and tonight he comes into Coors Field and knocks out Shohei Otani we are down to our final four Trey Mancini Boy, could it stack up any better? Trevor Story, the defending champ, Pete Alonso is ready to go. And Juan Soto just knocked out baseball's biggest star. He's in it to win it. And we have much more to come in the Home Run Derby. It's All-Star Week, and MLB doesn't trust the best in baseball to just any network. They go with T-Mobile, the biggest hitter in 5G, taking you closer to the action than ever before, from bringing fans to batting practice live in HD to wireless 5G point-of-view cams, and unlocking exclusive 5G features in the next-gen MLB AR app, whether you're home or away. Get the app now and experience the T-Mobile Home Run Derby like never before. Man, Pizza Hut packs so much meat in their meat lover's pizza. Six meats, over a pound of meat and cheese. This thing's a monster. Grab a $12.99 meat lover's pizza by July 31st before it's gone. No one out pizza the hut. I'm not coming back. I thought we were a team. We fight for love. We fight for freedom. I will not give up until I have all the answers. Was it real or was it my imagination? We're gonna get somewhere safe. And we start again. With the top-rated app that lets you deposit checks and transfer money anytime, anywhere, banking with Capital One is like the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Kind of like... I'll take Barkley. Yes! I still got it! I told you she picked me first! Yep, even easier than that. Plus, with no fees or minimums on checking and savings accounts, is it really even a decision? That's banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? What do you call a crunch wrap with double the seasoned beef, a crunchy taco, and a large drink for just $5? Don't know, but it better be grand or grande. It's the $5 grande crunch wrap meal, only at Taco Bell. What happened to her mom? I don't know. The body has decomposed. Where are the kids? Mom? He was six years old this morning. In this beach. I'm scared! Half an hour is one year of our lives. Let me look at you before you change. We're here for a reason. Boom. Rated PG-13. Only in theaters July 23rd. We back, switch the style up, never beat new track. One app, taking over the scene, connecting from your phone to your TV screen. ESPN goes deep with our One app, one tap, it's a worldwide trend. And Johnson, oh, he throws it down. Seattle is punishing the Sultz. The Freaks come out at night. They bounce back to keep their championship dreams alive. Suns Bucks, Wednesday on ABC. We've talked about him a lot. Billy Crystal started this telecast talking about watching the Home Run Derby on television. Hank Aaron won that six times. And of course, the great number 44, Hall of Famer, arguably the greatest right-handed hitter of all time, left us in January. And tonight, everybody wears the number 44 in his memory and in his honor and to pay tribute to Hammer and Hank Aaron. Really would have gotten out of this. And what a great ambassador he was on the baseball field, off the baseball field as well. As everybody is wearing 
44 on their uniforms. We take a look at our bracket right now. We're down to our final four. And congratulations to all those that have participated tonight, including the guys that came up just on the short end, including Otani, Joey Gallo, and Matt Olson. Also, with 28 home runs in the first round, what a performance he put on. But as we said, he got a bad draw. He had to deal with the guy that hit 35, <laughs> Pete Alonso, our good friend, Salvador Perez. You were awesome. Tremendous. Yeah. And we had Alonso up here. I'll tell you what, yeah. just having him talk, you could tell he's like in a different world. He was zoned in, huh? What a wing, huh? Oh, I want to win too. I don't have, you know. Yeah, but you win with a you smile. Do. You win 100%. You, you, you. <laughs> I was so happy, seriously. Honestly, you guys, I was so happy to be here in participation in the Hot Run Derby. That's one of my, on my dreams. Yeah. So it's coming through. And thank you guys. Thank you. No, 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 Papa. Did it, did it live up to what you thought it was going to be in front of this crowd and in this environment? Was it what you thought? A little more than what I thought. Really? Yeah. yeah. yeah I was kind of. Excited, no, no nervous, exciting the first two swings after that's like regular big thing. Really? Tabby, what about your legs? Because you are obviously strong, bottom half, you catch. Did you feel it at all up there? It was 28 jacks you hit. Yeah, I think the last minute is kind of the worst. Held it, yes. yeah. I think the last minute, but besides that, you feel normal. I don't, I don't get that tired. Now I'm completely like, like you're ready. You're good. Yeah. Pete Alonso said, I want to always go first to, to make them feel the pressure. Did you feel the pressure at all when you went up there? No, you know what? After he hit the 35 bomb, the last one, I like. I no like pressure. Like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Like, player was laughing and all that. And like, no, but you know, you know, just have fun and, and do my job. You know what else is really cool is tomorrow night you're gonna obviously catch you're gonna catch Shohei Otani. Oh my God, so excited too! <laughs> Unbelievable what he do. Fish and he. So tomorrow we're gonna have the opportunity to be with him behind the home plate. It's gonna be fun. Hey, Chris, uh, Ken Griffey Jr. said that the first pitch he would be sitting on is a fastball. Are you gonna be asking for the number one first pitch? No, I'm gonna go split finger. <laughs> <laughs> They're not to this. <laughs> You're the best. Thanks so much for being with us. Love That's to see you. Now I know why you get all those votes. People <laughs> love you. Right. Thank you. Salvador Perez. Trevor Story started his second round. He will go first. And Trevor Story still waiting for his first home run. Great to catch up with the great Salvador Perez. The big mattress behind the plate for the Kansas City Royals. And one of the all-time Royals with regards to all-star game appearances. Now a derby. So we're set for round two as Redmond tries to get Story in a groove. Yeah, a little different now. Again, with the three minutes they've had a long break, it's going to take them a while to get back into that groove. And Trevor has to pull the baseball. We saw it in the first round. He knows that. There's no one else in this competition that has more experience than him. The problem is this. I mean, more experience than him this, in this ballpark. They all know what Pete Alonso can do. And yep. he set it up in the Set a bar. Yep. <laughs> yeah, guys, when I talked to Trevor Story the other day, Eduardo, he was discussing exactly what you mentioned, that he knew that he had to take the ball to left field because the fences go out so quickly at the left center field here. That was his goal. Take it down to left field over and over. He calls a timeout. Scratch from Saturday's game. Got hit by a pitch. He played Sunday, and now he's in the dirty. DIY means having the right tools. But at the Home Depot, that means more than hammers and saws. Search with images, that's a tool. Renting tools with a swipe, that's another one. Delivery is a tool. Same day delivery, that's a power tool. This isn't just DIY. This is doing like never before. This is the Home Depot. How doers get more done. MLB and T-Mobile bringing an all-new Derby experience to fans with the MLB AR app. This augmented reality app provides unprecedented 3D views and ball tracking for the T-Mobile Home Run Derby. Download today at MLB.com slash AR. Think about the stories we have here. Trevor, of course, from the Rockies. Mancini, cancer survivor. Soto knocks Otani out. And Pete Alonso shatters records with 35 to open things up. 
Charlie Blackman, of course, has participated in a derby as a Rocky. Says swing at 85 to 90 percent. You know the atmosphere, the altitude is kind of going to kick in and then feel the rest. The short. That one shouldn't be short. Uh, you need to lift it. You need to hit it out of the front. And with Trevor, the main thing is, if he's going to barrel it, he needs to keep it fair because he is trying to use it right down that line right there. That's going to be the key for him. Ball not traveling as far as we saw in the opening round for him. And maybe this is the fatigue. 458 feet, the longest. He's still got 45 seconds to get the bonus. Weather's been pretty consistent. Sun's not out. It started off at 88 degrees, and now we're just at 87. In the meantime, there's the sleeping giant. Seventeen has been that magic number after the first round. It's story sitting here with nine, 20 seconds to go. There's another one. That should be number 10. Popped up straight away center field, not going to go. So far, his hardest hit went 110 miles per hour off his bat. The longest has been 518 off his bat. That's tonight, not in this round. And he did not get that extra 30 seconds, so he will have only 30 more seconds to go. Yeah, guys, when other teams have called the Rockies about the availability of Trevor Story, they've been told, look, we're not going to talk about it until after the All-Star break. The Rockies wanted to have Trevor Story to have this moment. Now with the home run derby, you would expect that by the end of this month, there would be a good chance that Story's going to wind up maybe with the Mets, maybe with the Yankees, or some other contender looking for an infielder. Yeah, another team that may consider a guy like Trevor Story would be the Chicago White Sox, who have a All-Star shortstop. But they need somebody maybe at second base. And if Trevor Story would be interested in playing second base on a team that could contend, we've seen that with Marcus Simeon. That may be another destination, because I know that the White Sox, Bill Schmidt, is aware they have some interest in Trevor Story in Chicago. And how much does he really want to win? And Trevor Story wants to Absolutely. win. And a ball player down the stretch, if he shows that versatility and that willingness to move spots knowing that he's one of the best also at shortstop that just adds more value and he's been great in the community he and george springer got together donated 150,000 to the perfect game cares foundation creating scholarships and services that combat systemic barriers that a lot of black youth athletes and underprivileged youths face in pursuing baseball so he's getting it done on the field and off the field and tonight battling trey mancini here in the home run derby a line shot that won't go there's one that will, and that's a long one. But again, no bonus time, so this will do it for a story. In round number two. A lot of long shots. That one won't go either, and he'll end up with 12. Yep. So 12 home runs on the board. For Trey Mancini. The tough fatigue's a factor. For sure. This one, the distance wasn't there. The amount of home runs weren't, and he was also falling back on some of those swings pitches he wanted in Redmond did his job just story right now just fatigued on it let's not forget he is the host here so there's a lot of things that very go good to it Cal Ripken did in Baltimore I mean like all these guys do it in their cities and you are everywhere you're doing interviews for local TV national TV in fact when you arrive at the Denver Airport and get on the tram that will take you you know to the transportation center and then you get your cabs or ubers or meet people trevor story's name pops up on the train ride in he welcomes everybody to colorado oh, that's right, he does. how about trey mancini right now coming up and we looked at the first round he hits 24 home runs And right now, all he needs is just to get one more than half of that. And we've seen the power using the entire field in, in this first round. So we start here. He does have the ability to get that bonus by hitting one 475 feet. 
It's another great story about Chuck Cristano on the mound and Trey Mancini. There's a guy named Ricky Palmer who was a year older and a walk-on with a tremendous sense of humor at Notre Dame. Close-knit family. Cristano would say the Palmers, they were the Mancini's north. Palmer was diagnosed with brain tumor in February of 2020, a month after Mancini arrived at spring training, and he was feeling sluggish. He was diagnosed with colon cancer. Palmer did not survive. This is the first time that Rostano and Mancini have seen each other since that funeral. And through the entire chemo process, and while suffering, Palmer would call Mancini and stay focused on his health. There's a Ricky Palmer Memorial Fund that both of these guys are behind. And if he were alive, he would be screaming at the top of his lungs for Trey Mancini to match Trevor's story tonight. Six homers, still no bonus ball. That one's hit far, but not. Maybe that's close. It's close to Trey Mancini last time. There was 207 left on the clock when he asked for time. This time he's managing the time a little bit better, but he's asking for time here. With seven, he's in a really good spot to be able to catch up trouble. He's in a great spot. He's got a buck 39 plus the 30, and then we'll see if he's able to add the 30 with a 475 foot shot. Hey, Matt Olson hit the DraftKings sports book sign, and that means DraftKings is going to give away two. Lucky fans are going to get a free trip to the World Series. Matt Olson drilled the DraftKings sports book sign. That was the swing that hit the sign. Two lucky fans get a free trip to the World Series. Shout out and thank you to DraftKings. That was it in right field. How about that? <laughs> get to go to the World Series, I'm in. Talk about the environment here for a second, Eddie. We are at a ballpark full of 50,000 people. We had none of this last year. No, we had zero of this last year, but look, the approach that Trey Mancini is taking here is his own game approach. 60% of his home runs have been hit straight away center field this year. He understands that he has pop to either way. He has just not come out of that timeout very well at all, only adding one. Trevor Story's posted 12. Still a lot of time. A lot of pop-ups, too, right now. And a lot of line drives. Got to get into that pole territory, and that's a better one. And again, no balls yet hit over 475 in this round to get that extra 30. Why does it feel right now that everybody except Pete Alonso is <laughs> feeling it? I think because they saw him feel it. This is Pete's. This is Pete's show. This isn't a Team Marín de los Pingües moment. This is. Those two guys are going to go at it in a major way next round. I think Soto's trying to get him off his game. Get inside the head of the polar bear. Here's the tying one for Mancini. The next one will move him on, and that's a shot to center, and that is going to do it. Trey Mancini knocks out Trevor Story, and that will do it for the hometown. Hero Trevor Story. And what a story we have developing with Trey Mancini. The approach of these two completely different. The way Trevor got to two, the 12 home runs compared to Mancini's 13 through the entire zone right there, not trying to pull, staying straight away. True to who he is, foot goes down, elbow up, tight, seeing it through. Enjoy it. You want to see where he hit it? This is exactly what he did, completely different than what Trevor Story was trying to do right there. Couple balls down the line, the rest left field to left center field, just two to right center field. A very interesting derby unfolding here. Trey Mancini has moved on. Trevor Story is out. Shohei Otani beaten by Juan Soto in the first round with a three swing swing off in which Soto went yard, yard, and yard.
there's still time to play in a free home run derby pool on DraftKings for a shot at $25,000 and a trip for two to the World Series. Download the DraftKings app and sign up with promo code HOMER. T-Mobile gives you more ways than ever to get out there. We're America's largest 5G network, so get out there. Take the epic iPhone 12 with 5G with you. Get up to four on us. Experience it with our new Magenta Max plan with unlimited premium data that can't slow down based on how much smartphone data you use. And connect your devices on the go with 40 gigabytes of high-speed hotspot data included. That's right, unlimited premium data in the iPhone 12 on us. Get out there with T-Mobile, the leader in 5G. Wendy's serves fresh, never-frozen beef on every hamburger. That's why our Dave Single is so hot and juicy. But what if that Dave Single was buy one, get one for a buck? And all these faves were, too. Get any of these faves, BOGO $1, only at Wendy's. LeBron helped me realize my full potential is to go. If you're the greatest of all time, then I'm the greatest of all tunes. Oh, we're going there? All I need is a catchphrase, like, how's it going, dude? That's a garbage catchphrase. Space Jam, rated PG. <laughs> Don't you think? Definitely. Man, Pizza Hut packs so much meat in their meat lovers' pizza. Six meats, over a pound of meat and cheese. This thing's a monster. Grab a $12.99 meat lovers' pizza by July 31st before it's gone. No one out pizza the hut. This place feels so good. You believe in us yet? Get out of here. Go back to Bean Town. This is New York, baby. We are not going anywhere. Sox only. This is our time. When these teams play, standings do not matter. Give us. Give us. Give us. Give us. Give us the rivalry. Let's go, New York. Go, Sox. We're coming for you, Boston. The best is yet to come. Red Sox, Yankees, Thursday and Sunday at 7 on ESPN. Telecast presented by Taco Bell. I've always been inspired by possibility, taking elements that exist and putting them together to create something new. Rooms to Go understands the power of this. With Rooms to Go, you can easily make the most of every space. Whether you want a place to share or somewhere just for you, the incredible styles, colors, fabrics means you can always find the perfect something. And the best part, you can do it all within budget, whether you shop online or at a store near you. Anything's possible at Rooms to Go. with our summer smoothies and poolside quesadillas at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Ba -da 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 -ba -da. Hi, I'm being a good snore sitter. It's a monstrous night for baseball here at Creepy Stadium. We're in the middle of the first between your monstropolis creepies and the visiting Booze Town Red Shops. I'm Bob Yucker, and T.J. Clawson is making a run for the history books tonight. Pardon me, coming through, coming through. Baby on board. Oh, here we are. Oh, in the front row. Let's go, Red Sharks! Pardon me. Do you mind keeping your screams to a whisper? Why? Get it, creepies! <laughs> the all-new original series, Monsters at Work, streaming only on Disney+. Plus. Come back to Monstropolis in an original series. New episodes releasing every Wednesday on Disney+. Plus. Speaking of monsters, we'll get to Pete Alonzo and Soto in a second. But Trey Mancini's story tonight has taken over. He's moved on to the finals. He joins us here. As we are just stage left of where Soto and Alonso will go. All right, so 
I mean, stage three colon, you survived the cancer, you're here, you're in the finals of the Derby. Like, put it in perspective. Yeah, um, it, it's hard to put into words. I've just tried to appreciate everything all day. Um, but there are some nerves early on, I'm not going to lie. But uh, just being here and, and being in this atmosphere is incredible, especially considering where I was a year ago. Um, no doubt. You know, I was two months out from finishing treatment. So um, I'm really, really appreciating this a lot. Did you ever go through a period where you thought, I may never put a uniform on again? Yeah, there were there were a few times, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I, I always thought that that would be the case, but there are days where you have your doubts, um, most definitely. And the chemo regimen I did, um, you know, contains a, neuropathy is a side effect of it, too. So you yes. can lose feeling in your, in your fingers and toes. So, um, yeah, it's a, a scary thing. And then as we watch Soto, and we'll get to him and dismiss you in one second, was it harder in round two than it was in round one? Was the ball not flying as far? Are you more tired? Yeah, you're just more gassed in round two, um, even though I had a long layoff. Um, it is a really, really, it's a workout, and Mark Trumbo warned me that it would be. Um, so, yeah, it, it's, you get gassed out there pretty easily. All right, go take a break. Congratulations. All right, thank you, guys. You, Appreciate thank it. You so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Trey Mancini. All right, so we're underway with Juan Soto. Alonso will not set the bar. Soto goes first. Yeah, this is, this is interesting because Pete wanted to go first, yet the rules are if you hit the most in the first round, you get to go second. So now Pete is going to have to do what he did last year. Watch and see if Soto can put the pressure on. And it looks like so far he's doing that. He's doing well. I do wonder, and I wonder if you thought, if you're going to deal with a guy who hit 35 in round one, what does that do to your approach, if anything, that now you're coming up to the plate knowing that? You have to be aggressive, and Soto knows it. I mean, most likely he was talking to, to Pete during the break, trying to rattle him a little bit. Still waiting on the bonus ball. We're taking a timeout. Pete Alonso paying no attention to what's going on out here. <coughs> you love your pet, but hate wearing their hair. Did you know that your clothes can actually attract pet hair? With Bounce Pet Hair and Lint Guard, your clothes can repel pet hair. One Bounce Mega Sheet has three times the hair-fighting ingredients of the leading dryer sheet. Simply toss into the dryer to bounce out hair and lint. Look how the shirt on the left attracts pet hair like a magnet. Pet hair is no match for Bounce. It's available in fresh scent and unscented. With Bounce, you can love your pets and lint roll less. Play ball is baseball and softball's initiative to highlight the fun and accessible ways to play the game for all. Find a league near you, go to playball.org and follow Playball on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. How about this with Juan Soto? It's, it, this, is, this is a battle. Not only Soto against Alonso, uh, this is a battle of the Nationals versus Mets. And first you get the big time Dominican contingency that's here at the All-Star game. And then the Nationals and Kyle Schwarber even whispered something in Soto's ear try to get him going and focus and Soto right now he not only beats you on the pull side he uses the entire field that's gone what happens is out of here he's got Mark Anthony in the background right now I just wonder what effect an opening round like Alonso put up has on anybody. Soto, anybody that would have to then go up against him. I think it affected even the story Mancini round. It might have. I mean, the comfort level that Alonso showed in that first round was something I've never seen before. I'm, I'm a little concerned about the fish when he's fly fishing as well. <laughs> and I was just speaking to Kyle Schwarber precisely about that conversation, and he said, Marley, all I told Soto was focus on getting 10, one, 10 more. 10 more home runs should do it right here. Well, he's going to have to really go, and you can tell he's dragging a little bit too. And wonder about the impact that the thin air would have and the ability to breathe through it. Soto's trying to hit one to straightaway center field, and that one goes over the trees. There's another line drive that won't get out. And he's made his adjustments in his stance. He's taller than he is usually in the regular season trying to conserve those legs and that's what he needs to do right now pitch get those pitches up in the zone He's got at least two more in him put it out there he's saying to Kevin Long away from me get it a little further away like that one but he didn't hit it 
That one's going to go to left field for sure. There's 11, and that is going to do it. So 11 for Juan Soto. We'll get the bonus time after we take a look at some replays. You start to think that this might just be the Pete Alonso show for a long time. That's the thing, and who's going to be able to come up and challenge him unless Juan Soto right now figures out a way to get in a, in a, in a run right here. His teammates are enjoying it, <laughs> but they know. Sure, Scherzer sure enjoying it. Schwarber's like, we need 10 more of those. He needs to get on a run like Schwarber's got on early on before going on the I.O. with a bad hamstring. Now, Schwarber, one of those guys who before the All-Star break, absolutely took off. One of the conversation points heading into the second half will be the home run barrage. We saw guys like Olsen get on, Schwarber get on. Alonzo had a good close. Matt Olsen had a good close to the first half. Obviously the Astros and their hitters. We saw Altuve hit the ball far and often towards the end of the second half. The thing is, it's an easy swing for Pete Alonso. He doesn't even have to go 60% on his swings to be able to hit it out of this ballpark. Go ahead, Buster. So Nelson Cruz was just in that group that talked to Soto, and I asked him how, how tired was he when he got up to him, and he was shaking his head, and he goes, boy, those last 12 swings, hitting the ball on the ground, hitting opposite field, and he did note that at the end of that round, Soto kind of gave the motion like, I am gassed. I'm done. <laughs> Toasted oats. He's got 11, he's got 60 seconds to play with, and he's got a polar bear in a cage downstairs that he's going to have to deal with, too. Soto struggled up in the zone in the last few minutes, in the, last, in the first three minutes. Did not hit any ball up in the upper quadrant. Everything was middle. Even down, he missed on homers. That's what he has to do right there, stay through. Longest home run at Coors Field was 504 feet. John Carlos Stanton did that in 2016, so we've blown that up. And during the StatCast era, the longest home run recorded was Aaron Judge's at 513. That's gone as well. Yeah, the Coors Field effect is definitely in with some, but yet not as far as I thought I would have seen coming into this event. So at this point, Alonzo. He might hit 15 in the first minute and a half. Exactly. Alonzo hit 20 more homers than Soto did. That one would count if it goes. And it was caught by a fan who reached over. Tatis is saying, let's just give it to him. <laughs> he knows he'll need it. He's already ready to go. Pete Alonso trying to defend. He's the only guy that came into this 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby with experience. Everyone else was a first-timer. And here is where the home runs of Pete Alonso went. Yeah, it was raining homers. A lot of souvenirs right there for the fan base. And I guarantee, I think this ballpark might be tilting towards left field. There's a lot of fans might be headed that way knowing Pete Alonso. All he needs is 16 in this round. I'm gonna wait till my music starts. He had two home runs to the opposite side. The rest pull. Salvador Perez, 28 in the opening round, and he lost by seven. 28, and you lose by seven. It's the bad draw. He's got 15. He was unbelievably focused. He's got that beat going again. 514 feet was the longest he hit in the first round. First swing is a sky high shot. And the second one is a pulled homer down the line in left. So he's on the board. For his home runs, he's averaging 411 feet, the longest here for Pete. Well, he's just hit one as long as any other one that he's hit. <laughs> here goes another one that's as long as anyone he's hit. 491 feet on the one prior to that. 
Oh, my. And this is coming very easy to Pete Alonso. Very easy. Yeah, he's finding Barrel. He's not missing right there. Just hit a linea. But already five home runs. Uh-oh. I don't think he's going to ask for time. That's another. He's got the bonus if he needs it, and his head is bobbing up and down. I've never seen it. Have you seen somebody enjoy the derby as much? Every pitch he's hit up. Home run percentage, Buster, is like 65%, 70%. And, guys, my conversation with him the other day, he was as relaxed in that oh. talk as he has been here. <laughs> I think we ought to call him the technician because that's how he's approached this thing. He's very comfortable. It meant so much to him in 2019, and then what he was able to do. Oh, uh -oh that may oh. be the longest one of the night. Last roll again. Oh. <laughs> There's no reason to ask for time right now. The way he's feeling. Uh -uh. Can Trey Mancini ask for a tag team partner? <laughs> I don't think it'll help. Ay, papá, otra vez. Well, we're not going to need a timeout. No. Oh, he gets, yep. <laughs> milk it. <laughs> Let's milk it. Oh, the theatrics. He's good, don't need a towel, don't need a... Yeah, there you go, Pete. <laughs> it is Alonzo's world. First five swings. He hit four homers. Then he missed two. Then he hit three in a row. And he is... Got something going through those veins of his where this is <laughs> his ballpark. <laughs> he should go take some water to Mr. Soto right now. Aye. Oh! <laughs> Two majestic shots. <laughs> Lights go out, Dave Jow sees the fireworks. That's it, we're done. 16 beats 15 every second of the day. Carl, what happens with the bonus? <laughs> what happens with the bonus? I would give it to Mancini. In fact, I'd give Trey Mancini three extra minutes. Look at Mancini. He's got his hands on his face. They really Maybe the advantage here for Mancini with a neutralizer, the final round is only two minutes long. You get on a roll for two minutes, anything can happen. But all night, the roll has been that guy. The polar bear. He's done it in Cleveland, he's trying to do it in Colorado. Yo, nice singer yesterday. What's your secret, bro? Meditation. Every night before I go to bed, in my mind, I go back to a Little League game and feel like I can absolutely crush those pitchers. On a spotty network, this is what Stampton heard. Every night, I go to a Little League game and crush those pitchers. Little League. Oh, yeah. Don't trust big swings to just any network. Go with T-Mobile, the biggest hitter in 5G. This thing where you're supposed to be, buddy. For 600 years, our ninja have brought peace to the world. Join us. This is not your way. This is mine. Let's go. Snake Eyes. With a PG-13. Make this the summer you taught them what it means to serve. The summer of hauling happiness by the ton. And bringing home hardware by the handful. Where traditions were passed down on the tailgate. And the only thing more powerful than the feeling was the truck that took you to it. Make this the summer of Ram. Now get 3550 in total values, plus finance and get no monthly payments for 90 days on the 2021 Ram 1500. The Taco Bell comeback is here, and it is fire. Once the team catches fire and pulls off a comeback win, we'll bring back the flaming Hot Doritos Locos Tacos for a limited time. Yep, if an NBA team comes from behind at halftime to win in a finals game, everybody in America scores a free Flamin' Hot Doritos Locos Tacos on us. Win, 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 win. 
Flamin' Hot Doritos Locos Tacos are coming back for the win. Free tacos, straight fire. Only at Taco Bell. The lasting cologne scent of Old Spice Dynasty helps get you off your couch and into the driver's seat. Exclusively in movie theaters. Welcome back, champions. You all beat the rooms before, but can you beat them again? Just make it out alive! Good luck. No, no. Escape Room Tournament of Champions, rated PG-13. Crack windshield, take one. You say I got a crack in my windshield. At uh, least uh, maybe less heartbroken. Geico lets you file a claim online, over the phone, or with their app. That makes me want to say Are, are you crying? Oh, there's, there's pollen. Geico. Great service without all the drama. Everywhere you go, everything you do, you can always take the game with you. And you can bring your friends. First place feels so good. You believe in us yet? Get out of here. Go back to being town. This is New York, baby. We are not going anywhere. Sox own me. This is our time. When these teams play, standings do not matter. Give us. Give us. Give us. Give us. Give us the rivalry. Let's go, New York. Go, South. We're coming for you, Boston. The best is yet to come. Red Sox, Yankees, Thursday and Sunday at 7 on ESPN. Telecast presented by Taco Bell. It's a night when everybody, the ball players, and all of us, well, we get to be kids again. A night to celebrate the long ball. Clear the fences, go in yard. Holy cow, that one's out of here. How about that? See, that's the power of baseball and the home run. Every one of them takes us along for the ride. Welcome to the Home Run Derby. So we are set for the final Trey Mancini and that guy, Pete Alonzo who has made this his own event. Two minutes on the clock. Juan Soto hit a home run 520 feet tonight. Trevor Story went 518. Alonzo over 500. Otani hit one 513. 1998 home run derby champion Ken Griffey Jr. who we spoke with earlier brings out the home run derby trophy. Time ovation for Junior as we take a look at tonight's road to the finals, and it's brought to you by Geico. A glorious night here in the Mile High City of Denver, Colorado. A 35 spot in the first round. Got Juan Soto, Trey Mancini took care of Matt Hall in the first round, and then he. Her story. 37 total home runs for Trey Mancini in two rounds. 51 for Pete Alonso. Marley. I'm going to start with Cedric and move on to you. So, Cedric, tell me all about your teammate and Trey Mancini, what he's done here today. It's awesome. I love seeing him out here. I'm, I'm enjoying myself, supporting him. You know, just everything that he's been through. It's great to see him out on the field again and have fun. And congratulations, Cedric. First time All Star. And I'm going to go to the five time All Star, former teammate of Trey Mancini, too, Manny Machado. Talk to me a little bit about Trey and what you think his chances are in this round against Pete Alonso. I think they're great. He's overcome a lot. He's overcome more than most of us. And uh, this is testing for him. So I'm rooting for him and uh, you know, hopefully he comes up on top. Well, there you go. From Cedric Mullins and from Manny Machado, Trey Mancini. That's the right attitude to have. Again, two minutes on the clock to start it. And Trey Mancini's off to a very good start. He really is, and he knows he has to get started in a hurry. I love it. I love the fact that they've upped the pace. Not waiting for anything. Come on, throw the next one. Get the cadence going. Only two-minute round this time. A little bit different. He asked for timeout right now. 117 left on the clock. All right, so he's sitting there, and uh, the head keeps bouncing like a bobblehead. Pete Alonso tonight. We'll take a timeout. Trey's got five. 
we don't have live music, everybody will be lost. If you want me to stay, I'll be around today to be available for you to see. I'll be so good. I wish I could get the message over to you now. America's bars, clubs, and stages need our help. Let's make sure they stay. We're in the middle of the NBA Finals game for Wednesday, 9 Eastern. Giannis and the Bucks try to even it up in two against Paul Booker and the Suns. The Suns trying to take a commanding 3-1 lead. Big game the other night for the Bucks. Coverage tips, NBA countdown 8.30, also streaming live on the ESPN app. Because the round's two minutes, and Alonzo's been so good, you don't know what the number is that Mancini's got to post, but he's the guy that's going to post, and he's going straight away dead central with the first one out of the break. Second one goes center. Next one goes left field. Here comes Trey Mancini now. I like it. Again, straight away center with easy pop. Yes, sir. Ooh, that one's got a lot of ride under it already in the bonus. Yes, sir. Trey Mancini, 490, we've earned that bonus. Like the take also. Well, every swing is being driven out. And Mancini's putting a number here up. Get up. Just missed. The next one, another line drive. That's going to go. Well, he got on that round, on that roll where he hit six in a row. Needs to get on that roll again. So far, three in the consecutive home runs for him. Well, the appreciation and respect that all the players who are still here have for what he's done. Cedric Mullins, his number one cheerleader, standing next to Manny Machado, rooting him on. That is a big shot. Boy, as tired as he was in round two, we don't see that here in the finals. It's all about cadence, and he got Woo! it that time. Well, he's got the number that <laughs> they all had after three minutes in the first round. He's at 17. Can't help but to cheer for Trey Mancini. Loved what his teammates said about him. Again, he's in the moment. Oh, man. Even after the second round. Eddie, T-Mobile's 5G POV cam bringing fans up close to the biggest home run derby swings like we've never seen before. All streaming wirelessly in high definition over T-Mobile's 5G network. That was impressive. Remember, Alonzo had to come from behind to beat Vlad Guerrero Jr. in 2019. It ain't going to be easy, Eddie. No, it's not. Two guys that have the power and for such a thin frame, two completely different body types. Oh, yeah, time yeah. Strong, wiry Mancini. Go. With one minute left, 17 on the mark. That's exactly where a lot of the hitters were after the three-minute mark. Again, if you're just joining us, he overcame stage three colon cancer. He told us a few minutes ago that there were times he didn't know if he'd ever play baseball again, let alone survive. And now he is posting a big-time number here in the 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby. The inspiration for so many after he was toast in round two, he went out and signed a bunch of autographs. His goal coming in was to let people know there is life after a cancer diagnosis. So far, he's swung at 32 pitches. 66% of the time, he's gone deep. That's the kind of percentage that Peter Alonso was in in the last round. So he's on pace with Alonso. The most home runs in a final round is 23, and it was Alonso. And that one is driven to center, won't get out. Get underneath that one, too. That's not a good pitch. Uh, that's a good one. Opposite field. Will it be enough to get out? No. Fine shot and this that counts. Do it. No. Well, he's bouncing and he's always, always wondering if you just had one more. Great job by Trey Mancini as he puts 22 up on the board. Pretty much has that David versus Goliath. Sure does. I don't know if it's enough. 
<laughs> but that was awesome. Awesome. A few nights ago, his doctor, Nilo Azad, threw out the first pitch at the Orioles game. That was his oncologist. And tonight, he's made many, many more fans. Trey Mancini will now watch with the rest of us if Alonzo can defend his title after this. 2021 Home Run Derby is brought to you by T-Mobile, the all-star in 5G, America's largest, fastest, and most reliable 5G network, and by GEICO. Save even more when you bundle home and car insurance. Man, Pizza Hut packs so much meat in their meat lovers' pizza. Six meats, over a pound of meat and cheese. This thing's a monster. Grab a $12.99 Meat Lovers Pizza by July 31st before it's gone. No one out beats the hut. What do you call a crunch wrap with double the seasoned beef, a crunchy taco, and a large drink for just $5? Don't know, but it better be grand. Or grande. It's the $5 grande crunch wrap meal, only at Taco Bell. First place feels so good. You believe in us yet? Get out of here. Go back to bean time. This is New York, baby. We are not going anywhere. Sox only. This is our time. When these teams play, standings do not matter. Give us. Give us. Give us. Give us. Give us the rivalry. Let's go, New York. Go South. We're coming for you, Boston. The best is yet to come. Red Sox, Yankees, Thursday and Sunday at 7 on ESPN. Telecast presented by Taco Bell. Another one. Another one. Another one. Scratch a million off my checklist three years ago. At 2-0, so the one, I'm in a different mode. Johnson trouble, he throws it down. Kakuba with a strong finish. I got to reach out strong and get him. Yeah, they're punishing the Suns. The freaks come out at night. They bounce back to keep their championship dreams alive. Suns Bucks, Wednesday on ABC. Looks like you're really cranking, Jamie. Things are picking up, but I'm struggling to keep costs down. Spectrum Business can cut your internet and phone bill in half. I bet there are plenty of hidden fees. You'll get the price they promise with no hidden fees or added phone taxes. But my clients send huge files to download. Spectrum Business has fast internet, and they deliver the speeds they promise even at peak times. You get more speed and reliability for up to half of what you're paying now. You should put that on a poster. I can print it. Hey, it's time to celebrate the red, white, and blue America. Mike Urban Tud is kicking off July with the Big One sales event. That's big savings on all vehicles in stock under the big flag. Trucks, cars, hatchbacks, SUVs, it's the big one. Plus, you get a brand new Tacoma for $2.99 a month or a brand new Corolla for $1.99 a month. Located at I-95 and 520 in Cocoa. That's because Mike Erdman is Toyota. Every day. Coming up, reaction from the always entertaining home run derby. He might have gone out in the first round, but Shohei Otani is being compared to Babe Ruth. Some thoughts on that in the one big thing. Also, the worst bad beats from baseball's first half. We'll see you after the All-Star Celebrity Song. Welcome back, everyone, to the 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby. He won the trophy in 2019, and there he is framed by it here in 2021. Make sure to catch all the 2021 MLB All-Star action. The All-Star Celebrity Softball game is up right after we're done here. The MLB All-Star game red carpet show tomorrow, 3 Eastern time on the MLB Network. And then the Indy first of the Major League Baseball All-Star game is at 8 o'clock. Fox, Tuesday, beautiful forecast tomorrow night. Great weather tonight. And it has a foregone conclusion feel to it. Even though Trey Mancini put up a big digit. Anything can happen. 35 in the first round, 16 in the second, with a lot of time remaining. And it is bobblehead night here yeah. at Coors Field for Pete Alonzo. 
Like a boxer jumping into the ring, here he goes. With 22, the number, oh boy. Well, there's your bonus already. Wow. Oh my. And to the bat on that one to center field as he's got two cookies. He's now got three. Pete Alonso gets a million dollars for winning the home run derby. He did it in 19. He gets another million tonight. Again, he made big donations, but his salary is $660,000. So he's putting the work in right here in one night. Over there, back. making some money tonight. There's a lot of money in his future. Oh, oh my. It's another one. He has been as comfortable. Oh, that may be the longest one. An incoming Pueblo. I am getting text after text of everyone that's had batting practice versus Mr. Dave Yaus. Uh, he is pouring them in, isn't he? He is. It is consistent. Seven in a row. Out and he's gonna need 10. He's got an extra 30 earned and a nod of acknowledgement from Mancini as Pete Alonso takes a timeout. Welcome to Space Jam. This world is massive. This Friday. If the Toon Squad doesn't win this game, Run! we're all gonna be trapped here forever. Goon Squad doesn't give up. It's game on. The Goon Squad! Or game over. Oh, you'll give me a technical, man. I wish you would. I'm shorter than Kevin Hart. Space Jam, Witty PG, Friday. Trey, you hit 22. You're watching Pete Alonso. How do you like your chances? Uh, I'm not feeling too good right now. Uh, <laughs> he makes it look so easy. He's got a really good game plan. Um, you know, he's really smooth. It's easy to tense up and try to do too much, um, which I did from time to time. But he's, uh, yeah, he's got a good game plan up there. So, uh, you know, a minute and 36 left for him. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, not looking too great. Yeah. Nice try. Yeah. Charles? He's on pace right now for 18 with 36 seconds left. Feeling good right now. So far, 60% of the pitches he's seen would be have left the ballpark in this round. He's trying to get the crowd into it. Crowd has seen him be into it all night long. 35 in round number one for Alonso, who made the and you see one of the folks out there who's shagging balls, who's being helped off the field. He vowed in 19 to win it. He said again recently, we're going to take it home again. I had a fun time winning. I'm going to win again. It's making it look easy. Looks like right now he's at a club somewhere. And the party's on Pete Alonzo. Two homers in the prior three games, and he's trying to not let the delay affect the rhythm that he's feeling coursing through his body. He's got that saying again, Mohan LaBay, come and take him on his cleats inside his belt, which he said that's his switch. So the switch has been on since this started, and he has not let up as far as distance all night. He got drilled. But Mancini's got 22. Alonzo's still sitting here with 14. He's got some work to do. This one's going to be close. Never mind. 15. 16. 17. And no. 17 for Alonzo with the bonuses. Bonuses and bounces. Oh, it's effect. Now it's into Tatis, too. He's got that same thing going. Oh, they're, feeling, they're feeling it, no doubt. And this, again, is the music selection that Pete Alonso picked out. Hands through the zone as 
quick and consistent as possible, and he knew it as soon as he hits it there. This is what he came to do. And you think he's not having any fun? <laughs> you do wonder what this is doing as far as inspiring others to now try to take down somebody like Alonzo if he goes on and wins it. The Tatises and the Vlad Guerreros of the world. And I get it, but 22 home runs by Trey Mancini, we cannot put that, again, he put up some serious numbers right there in the, in the three minutes that he was able to hit. That's including the one minute extra time that he had. Six wins it, and now it's five that will win it. Another massive shot from Alonzo. Four to win it, like a countdown. Three to win it. Two to win it. He's not missing. One more to win it as Alonzo comes out of the timeout and walks it off. What a finish. Alonzo defends his title. The 2021 Derby champion put the belt on again. What a show. That right there was Woo. impressive. Ken Griffey Jr. giving him the trophy, but Pete Alonzo, he made that look easy. Wow. Spin it to win it, Derby champion. <laughs> Trey Mancini, you were awesome. Eddie, they were all awesome. Mancini, Olsen, Story, Gallo, Salvador Perez. What a fight Sal put up in the first round. Juan Soto was terrific, taking care of Shohei Otani. But from early on, from Jump Street, nobody was going to match him tonight. I think he knew it right there. <laughs> Grabbed the bat. Put on the chain. And he is embracing it like he'd won the World Series. On an individual level, this is his World Series. Pete Alonso and the Home Run Derby go together. Back-to-back -to -back titles. It's not a long list of guys that have gone back-to-back. -back. The next one would match Ken Griffey's three. He's got two now as he goes back-to-back. -back. Pumped his chest, ripped the shirt. Number 44, love what Major League Baseball did right here. <laughs> you heard him right there. Ken Griffey Jr. said he's coming back next year so he can, what, repeat? I think he meant knock off Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Buster Only, who's with repeat. Pete, how in the world were you so relaxed during that? I've done this before, and I'm, I'm extremely confident in my ability to hit the ball out of the yard. I feel like I'm uh, the best power hitter in the game, and it was on display tonight. Compare how you felt in winning this in 2019 to how you felt tonight. Oh, this is awesome. It never gets old. <laughs> how about Trey Mancini, the show he put on tonight? I mean, Trey's story is just unbelievable. I mean, everybody in the Derby put on the show, but uh, Trey's, Trey's story is just unbelievable. And uh, I'm just happy that he was able to participate and put on the show. I mean, he, everyone, everyone did awesome. I thought that we were super entertaining and put on a great show for the fans. So you've won two. Back to back to back next year. Will we be back? I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I'm just going to enjoy this one for now, and I'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to think on it. But this, this event, so fun, and, and I really enjoyed myself tonight. Pete, thanks. Of course. Carl, back to you. Thank you, Buster. Well, the headline is repeat for sure as he defends that title. And he took the year off like everyone else in 2020. Final thought? 509 was his longest in that round right there. Pete Alonzo letting it all out, but the story right there was all these participants doing their job well. Say so long for Marley Rivera, Buster Only, Eduardo Perez, our producer Scott Matthews, Doug Holmes, our director, and the men and women behind the scenes that make the great home run derby what it is. Memorable again, Pete Alonzo, the champion. I'm Carl Ravitch. It's time now to send it to our all-star celebrity softball game with the Kirkshans, Jeff and Tim. Enjoy.